Everybody, One. welcome to the Unexpectables. Okay, now to say the thing that I wanted to say for it to be recorded. So, interspecies reviewers. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, so, okay. Okay, okay. all right. Okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. I don't even know what this is. No. I'm scared. It is. It is. It, it is. It was all fun and games until that hyena fucked that angel, guys. It was all. We were all having a great what? time until yeah. the, at peak anime. Peak, Monty, anime. peak anime. Peak anime. Peak anime. Right. Uh, um. So, what is hilarious about it wasn't just that Funimation canceled the dub after that episode dropped. <laughs> what was it? That was funny, but it did something unique. It united two countries ever so divided. As the Japanese distributed <laughs> Japanese television channel canceled it as well on television. Now I want to I want to believe this is going to keep going. The animation studio is going to deny they had any idea what they were doing. The author himself is like, "Whoa, whoa! I was writing what?" And his parents deny ever having a kid. I want to. I, <laughs> I've got some bad news for you. The the reason why it was canceled was a technical thing. Oh, okay. That is the it was biggest. Horrible. Fattest lie they could ever tell. <laughs> that is the that is that is so full of it that I, with confidence, could say that's bullshit. That's bullshit. They canceled it because it was getting a lot of I, negative press. That's what was happening. I, I don't. And they anime. aired I call porn on TV. I'm sitting here just like shaking my head, looking at my notes. Sip like, your tea, Nadine. Nadine. I don't Nadine. know all, what's happening. All you need, Nadine, there's a two-second gif, and that's all the context you need. <laughs> I can't wait to have it show up. On I will my say, somehow. I want. I want to say. I want to say though. I love the idea of of having salamanders basically be be laying there while you cook meat on them, except have them be big, muscular, beefy men. What? Okay. Big, no, no, beefy, no, 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 no. Let me finish. No, no, no. no. <laughs> All you need to know, guys, I think everyone learned something amazing. <laughs> everyone learned that hyenas also have penises when they're girls. So That's true. So that is true. Oh, that no that more to do. That factored true. into the sex scene. Uh, oh great. <laughs> that aired great. on television. That was dubbed by Funimation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's legendary. It is now a legendary anime. It's better than they could have ever hoped. This is so I'm angry great. At, it's, it's I'm angry at Interspecies Reviewer. <laughs> An anime because so hot. Interspecies Reviewer. Interspecies Reviewer was my idea. That's true. I came up with that idea first. <laughs> This whole thing, this whole thing started God because I found online someone took the opening of that series and mashed it to YMCA, and it's fucking perfect, and it bombed. No, no, what happened was someone was watching Monster Masume and went, "Hmm, not enough." Let's just get more hard. Not, not enough. Not enough. <laughs> not enough. Needs to be better. Needs a bit more. <laughs> Why isn't the spider having sex with the man? <laughs> I will put that in my comic. Uh, okay, so guys, welcome to the Unexpectables. I'm joined by Kaishin wow. Goomba. Good, wow. good, good trip there, buddy. Trip. Uh, you know what? I think I, I, I think the YouTube, I, the YouTube people are up for a fucking ride when they click on this video. Yeah, no kidding. Jesus. Just right out the, the gate, 100 miles an hour. Man, it makes a wild ride. For those of you on YouTube who didn't skip immediately to the start of the episode, how you doing? Hey, buddy. You will next time now, won't you? How do you like this? How do you like this? How do you like these apples? This is the amazing content you're missing every time you click. Give me 15 minutes of my life back right now. Don't skip the ad. Don't skip the ads, my dude. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got a lot of bit, a lot of bits, a lot of subs are being rained down here. We'll try and get through our introductions here. Goomba, where can they find you though, dude? You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba, Taiko Tuesdays, uh, Saturdays, Sundays, Mecha Mondays, all the time at 7 p.m. Central. I have a big thing to announce. Oh, yeah, dude. I have a 17-page script that is all about Tengu, popular media, such and so on and so forth. That video is going to be going live Tuesday. God, I hope Tuesday. It's 17 pages. If you ever wondered where so many of my ideas for Greckles came from, you're about to find out. Check out that video. It's all about Tengu. Yeah, that's all I could say. It's gonna huh? be good. But can, Z can Zito no. at can Zito say anything though? We'll hey, find that's out. That's what I, Ga Gaijin. That's what I drew on your letter that I sent you. Yeah, I know. So yeah. that I I, I was th I was hoping Mani you would be a little hyped for that because it is going. I know. In the direction, when you I were think. asking when you were asking for suggestions, I was gonna suggest Shift Tree, but someone already did, and I was like, oh okay. <laughs> so I didn't say anything, but 
That well, was like the only one that I was like, oh yeah, Shift Tree. Shift Tree's great. I love it's, it. It's, well, this, this video is more about picking apart the different references in all different media and then combining it all together to focus more on the actual cultural aspect of it. So Gotcha. Yeah. That's me. I'm going to turn my fan on. Zito, where can they find you? Oh, yeah. They can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on uh, Twitter, and uh, Everang and Almanac on Patreon, where in, uh, we got a lot of actual really cool indie games coming out soon. I know uh, Bad Seed DLC just came out for uh, for Dead Cells. I have not touched Dead Cells in six months, so, oh boy, that's going to be a trip. Followed up by uh, the Catastrophic Possibilities, the cat book where you two can play as a kitty whippin's tabaxi is going to be coming out very, very soon. Uh, by the way, Zito, my friend Liam messaged me this morning. <laughs> Yep. Uh, and he said something very important. He says, just watch last week's episode. You're welcome for giving you the proper name for a displacer beast. <laughs> ah, excellent. Cool. So now I now I have a little bit of revisions to go back to on the book. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that's coming out. The Namir's going to be coming out for a redux. Uh, as I look over to Jack, I was going to be working on Fonz. And then I look over to Froggy's mom and go, but someone put a fire under my ass about making imps playable. I mean, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, Connor knows too. Speaking Maybe of Connor, where can they find him? <laughs> in a state of euphoria. You usually. may find me in the sky, in the state of misery, and also what? on twittercom slash snake and twitchtv devil. Tuesdays and Sundays are Ring Fit Adventure. Friday is Friday Funhouse, and Saturday is Devil May Cry. That's me. That okay, was really cool. well done. That was really well done. Bravo. I, I was I was hoping you would go like and the the 1998 Denver Broncos Saturday Night Live. Ooh, a piece of string, man. <laughs> but that was well splendidly Adam done. Adam Driver. Yeah. Hey, Bosco. Yeah. What's How you up? doing, man? Where can I find you, dude? Good. Uh, they can find me at Bosco VA on Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on Twitch.tv slash Bosco. Now, you did some charity work, though, recently. Tell us about that. Did I? Yeah. You were on, you, you're on a stream. You're always on a charity stream. You're so charitable. I don't... Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> somebody who's in one of my uh, wrestling federate, well, actually, he's on Kurt show, but whatever. Uh, they were diagnosed with leukemia, and I guess they're in their second stage of chemo. So we just we raised some money to, to help with their chemo treatment. Oh, wow. that's really awesome, yeah. dude. Wow. Holy crap. I. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Monty, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at Twitter at Monty Boo on Twitter, where you can see me obsessing over my fucking three D printer. Oh, like, <laughs> subject it right into my artist's blood because it's surreal. The future is now, old man. Um, you can also find me at Twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue, where tomorrow we're gonna be playing Monster Hunter. Uh, Connor and I have been kind of running through all the optional quests, so I can be a little bit built up. Um, avoiding any new content. So if you want to catch me running around screaming, being eaten by monsters, you can catch me there tomorrow at probably 4 o'clock-ish. Um, cool. And then Sunday, if you like Pokemon, uh, we're doing Pokemon Coliseum for the GameCube, uh, where you can choose between three factions, either Primetime Crime Time, mm. uh, New Uchality, which has become a new one, new and Uru. hashtag Peace Gang. So... Uh, whichever you'd like to be part of, you can come, show your support, or you can just enjoy some Pokemon. Because I'm trying to purify all the Pokemon in the game and get the Ho-Oh at the end of the game, which is very hard to get, but I want to try and do it. Many, ma ma many, many evil men in Pokemon have started their reasoning that way. I will purify them all. Yes, you know. <laughs> you, you, say, you saying the ooh-woo gang, I'm just like, all right, so when fucking... Uh, when Doom hits, someone made a fucking video of, of the guy Samuel Hayden talking over the loudspeaker, and the last thing he says before the fucking Doom guy throws the screen away is, we made a fucky wucky. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, but, uh, that's the Amazing. name of the stream, the fucky nah, wucky. Okay, okay, okay. What was great about th that? was official? No, that was not official. That Damn was it. edits. Damn it! They made Dude official. Maybe they can make fucky wucky official. <laughs> There's proof God. that anything is possible. 
And you can find me right here at twitch.tv slash talk auto one one guys. Well, Lee, having MNW will be back on tomorrow here. We'll try and get back to some streams here as uh, we head into the new month here. I have so many people I got to thank. I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to start right now. So. <laughs> Um, if I miss you, I do apologize. Four X One Scott One Two Three Three Zero Death Watch Twenty Nine Eighty Four Gaijin Goomba Hi Goomba Draco Choji hey. Thank you so much for the sub Skull J with five subs gifted to the community. Thank you so much Skull J for the five subs, dude. A blue Kios Four Four Five Trainer Show Shiro <laughs> Robate Rook Alec. Seri I say, strong glad two two twenty Constable Mutton at ten thousand armored bees Sam X One Two. Uh, Moist Moose. It's a new Good. sub. Yes. They, they're in my channel. They're, the name gets, it's like, it's like being hit in the side of the it's, head with a shovel whenever you know, I see it, that there's, name. There's, so mu there's so much letter to look at. So much up and down, up and down happening there <laughs> in full caps. It's really maximizing the time. Moist Moose. Maximum turning. LeJake! Maximum thank you so much for the sub as well. Vardixis, thank you. Nackley Polly, Inferno Ulu. What's this? Did a fucky walkie. Gently Senpai, Star Trek 17. <laughs> Zeman, Stardust. Clown Captain. Good Row 12. Oz, uh, 195. Crow the Immortal. Zambowski. Defective Sheep gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much to Defective Sheep. A big thank you to Defective Sheep. Nothing defective about you at all. Cryptic Saiyajin. B. Kimball, 1993. Niner Ninel. Niniel. Dazzable, 123. Hayden Harlinson. Faye Raven. Saw Bob 4, Chocolate Zombie, 101, Blue Clock, 300 sh- Wow. Fuck. <laughs> 300 oh. Shadows, RPG Russian 96, Griffon 24-7, Empole 72990, Alcoholic, Avriata, The Bagel 14, Spaceman Joe, The Kaleidoscape, Poindexter, Riku 96 one nine Buyaka Uber Felix Elf Lord eighty nine Retro Royal Knight Bud the Spot three two two six Wiz Matrix D four C Trice Hunterman the Emperor of Penguin Kind Cup of Squid Flame Revenant gifting yes, a sub the Talbs the Talbs it was here that Kurt figured out he made a fucky wucky reading all these off. Oh my god, dude, I haven't gotten to the bits. <laughs> dude, I haven't gotten to the bits yet. This is just. Uh oh, mm. oh no! The fucky wucky is real. It's too <laughs> fucky. It's too fucky and wucky. What do we say today? to this, guys? I don't know what we say. I mean. I thought to do. I. I remember how we thought we were gonna have extra time, Nadine? Okay. The Talbs! Go ahead, go ahead. I, I'm still writing the interest. You have the, more Talbs. Time, the Talbs! The Talbs! Guys, can we just okay? The Talbs just dropped a hundred bit, hundred subs. Okay, 100 subs, that yeah. a hundred. That is incredible. That is an incredible amount, guys. Can we all chat their name like it's a haka? Talbs, 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 Talbs. It doesn't The Talbs. Oh God! I say it. He drops another one. Speaking, oh, speaking no. of talking and sync, don't forget we need to sync up before we start. That God, I've almost forgot about that. The Talbs, yeah. thank you for the 100 subs. Good God, Worm Spawn, that scruffy guy, Bat Turtle, one, two, three, Griffon Scald, as well as Maverick the Warlock, Chaos Gaming, 1998, Morphean, Kings Grimoire. Thank you all for the subs. Let's do the bits. You just hear my, my my middle mouse button just scrolling like crazy. <laughs> we gotta get down to the bottom. We must get there. All right, here we go. Thank you so much. For well, the 1,000 bits, Marcus Atera, inspired by the polished Aramite of Santoni's Borky's Pex, who repel all evil. Mmm, D&D boys. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Cuba Dragon with the 500 bits. Finally, my favorite day of the week. Love you guys so much, and no mercy to the fiends. No mercy. 500 bits. Glycerius with 1,000 bits. The angel was too big for the fairies. Eyebrow wiggles. Damn it! Uh -huh. ah! <laughs> We're never going to start. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mark. Rap God, Rap Got It. Oh, oh my God, Glacerius, thank you so much for the thousand bits. Serenade of the Eclipse, thank you for the bits as well. Ra, ra, Russ, kick them in the ass. Ra, ra, kick them in the dick. Sloth, 500 bits, no message, just bits. Thank you so much as well. Realm Forge with the 400 bits. Why the anime made the romantians real? Blue Hedgehog with the 1,006 what? bits. <laughs> Romance in the anime, that's what? what the anime is. Yeah. Super Blue Hedgehog. What? No, that's that's what that's what Interspecies Reviewer is. It's literally the romantian. What? Yeah. Kind of is. is. 
Yeah. But, and it's but, a romantic, but the animation studio just made it straight up porn without telling anybody. Great. Movies. <laughs> uh, Super Blue Hedgehog, congrats on your movie. 1006 picks. Step one, rescue guard. Step two, <laughs> save Meryl. Step three, avenge Stendon. Well, well, well nah, maybe just skip step three. Good luck to you all. Be kind to the party. Oh, my lord. Thank you so much as well. Here, I'm going to keep going here. Daisy Game with the 500 bits. Fun fact, Monster Masumi is based on a porn web search from 2007. Also, Hyena Scene was too short, just saying. <laughs> Cosmo Bot with the 500 bits. I demand an episode of the five of you reviewing the Mansion Escorts. What? What? Blackfoot Ferret with no, the 8 I... bits. Soka, yes, and Limes, yay. Leap bits from Blackfoot Ferret, lead as always. Jake with the 500 bits. Talk, I've not had enough room to talk about Interspecies Reviewer. Uh, Uber Felix with 700 bits. You guys are the best. Been watching since ep the beginning and inspired me to do D&D. &D. Thank you so much, Crazy Tell, for the bits as well. If I missed your bits, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. Monster, Master Monster with 1,000 bits. You guys are goofballs, and I love you all. Well, thank you so much. Nerdy Notion Z with the 500 bits working on a proton pack and listening to you nerds. Perfect night. Well, thank you. Da Dawan Knight, Star Mech as well. Thank you, members, for the bits. Hug Lords 5. Hug Lords, thank you so much. So I was gonna, going through old nostalgia critics, and I completely forgot you cameoed an episode talking. Yes, many, many moons ago. So long was I in that one? What? No, that was someone else. That was someone. That else. was someone else. Yeah, this 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 one took place at a hotel. Uh, right, right. Oh, Lily Tokyo. I know, right? Uh, SSF Shadow 101 with a thousand bits. Hey guys, glad to catch the stream live for the first time in a long time. We're glad to have you here as well. Five hundred bits from Zacco zero five five zero. Just want to see you guys do a stream just talking about interspecies reviewers. Thank you for the five hundred. So you know, fucking, I just looked at the memes channel. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's in there? What's in there? I'm I'm gonna find the next Pasta. high smooth thing. Pasta la vista. <laughs> Mama Luigi. Pasta la vista, Mama Luigi. Is that... Oh my god. Slot thing with a 1500 bits. Good luck on the upcoming fight. Why? What do you know that we don't? What does he know? Thank you for the 1500 bits, Sloth. Very kind of you. Very kind indeed. Scrub Lord, thank you for the bits. Probate with 800 bits. Moist moose. But the Canadian element guardian of water is the water beaver. It's true. But it drowned. Too much water. Sad day. As well, I want to thank Alexi Luna, Dr. Caliban, Soul Reaper for the bits as well, and Kelly! Kelly! With the 15,000 bits from Kelly AFU. Sorry, but I had to do it to him. <laughs> what did you. Oh. What did you do? Oh my god, what have you done? Kelly! Kelly! What have you done, Kelly? Kelly! Oh my god, Kelly is the bit box. I just checked it, I refreshed it! Oh god! Kelly's in control! Kelly! Oh. Are, we are we good to sync up? No. Sorry. Oh, no, we're not. We're not. Not yet. Sorry. Lexi Luna as well. Oh, oh my god, you guys! Um, Gamma Leo, uh, Lusume O1 oh, the robot, Wily Shadow, Mr. Nani, thank you so much, Kelly, for dropping another 20 subs on top of your... On top of the bits you dropped. Kelly with 20 subs on top of the 15,000 bits. Goddamn, Kelly, thank you so freaking much. Real met up with the 1,500 bits as well. I just recently lost a loved one. You guys helped me continue enjoying life. Now I get to listen to the big fights while playing Neverwinter Nights. Well, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Neverwinter. Sorry for your Never loss, mind. but thank you so much for... It's good to hear you're doing good things, though. They keep yeah, making yeah. happy. Burhan, thank you for the 400 bits as well. Deeper Centuries, thank you for the bits. Soul Reaper, thank you for the bits. And Jack Jumbo with the 15,000 bits. <coughs> Oh, sorry, I have a condition to cough up bits being going on for two weeks now. Future glass. Oh my god, are you okay? Put Guys, get the bits. We, got, we need to put them back in him. Every time he does it, he loses a finger. <laughs> Dude, the law of equivalent exchange. Jack Jumbo, thank you so much for the 15,000 bits. Holy shit. That is incredibly kind of you. As well, Kelly. Uh, the Fast Fox, thank you for the bits. Uh, Northwind, thank you for the bits as well. All right, let's sync up. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Hi, let's... Austin. Hi, Hello, Austin. Austin. How are Hi, you Austin. doing? How are you, Austin? We're recording a little bit later just because we aren't sure people are gonna make it on time. Yes. So, all right. Are we all? Are we all here? Yes. I believe we are. Con Connor. Yeah. Bosco. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, everybody, here we go. One, two, three, sink. 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 One, two, three, sink. 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 One, two, three, sink. 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 Oh, my goodness. There we are. Anything else? You Do you need some more time, Nadine? Are you okay? No, I'm good to go. 
Alrighty, chats. Oh, we gotta wait for chat to sync up too. Oh right. god. Bye, chat. We love you. Uh, excuse me. My dice tray has fucking kitty. Litter now, here's the question: How many? How many? How what? many? How many TTS <laughs> references are myself and Connor going to interject that will be assisted by Zito? That's. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's passive aggression in the air. Mm. <laughs> the cat litter is out. We're good to go. Mars All right. Wars. Excellent. You guys ready? Yeah. 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 When last, when last we left our heroes, Remy the Kenku <laughs> fighter, Panic the tiefling bard, Greckles the Kenku rogue, Vorky the orc barbarian, and Task the cobalt ranger, the party delves deeper into the hidden den of Yugoloth, devils and demons. After fighting off two Maragon guards, the party proceeded to the kitchen and beat the ever-loving snot out of Mickey, the Nykoloth cook, drowning him in his own soup, freezing the soup to his face, and more violent things. After the altercation turned even more violent, the Nykoloth was mercilessly killed. The party continued cautiously forward, avoiding glyphs on the ground and dispatching all the jail guards, eventually finding Doros and Sebastian. As the party begins their rescue, we continue in this den of evil. I, I don't mean to take away from your incredibly amazing narration, but you said mercilessly. Um, we offered mercy. Many times. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but afterwards, there's no mercy, so it was merciless. It's not that. like we had an option after that, you know. Are we still in combat? No. You guys are out of combat. No. We finished combat. Um, I look, I look immediately look over to Panic. Have you used the orbit at all today? No, I have not. When we get these guys out of here, I look over to everyone else and I kind of like tell them this. Let's lead, so someone will have to lead the injured upstairs back to the surface. By that point, get Doros. Or I mean, uh, get uh, Broark, I'm sorry. I don't know how comfortable I feel just leaving them there. No, 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 no. I'm saying like, okay, meta-wise. Meta Ever, someone goes back up to the surface with the injured, and then when they get to the surface, use the orb to get for uh to get Broark down here. But do we have time for that? Willow kind of turns and looks towards you, Task. Let's see if Meryl's here first. Right. Will you free anyone, Task? Check them. All right, let's go. All right. You open up the door, you see two guards, one male and female. Uh, the male is currently slumped against the wall. The female is, like, kind of sitting cross-legged, kind of hunched over. As you kind of open the gate, you watch as he <sighs> kind of turns up, a little fearful. Um, she looks like an elf, half-elf, potentially, maybe... Mm, probably, like, early 30s, late 20s. Okay. Uh, she is disarmed, she has no weapons at all. Um, and her armor has been beat to fucking shit. There's just slash marks. Um, you see just very clearly areas where they've been hit by halberds or what other sort of, uh, weapons these things have been armed with. Yeah. Um, they look pretty exhausted and extremely, uh, emaciated. So, uh, cracked lips, um, like, she can't even talk to you as you walk in. She's like, Ugh. I, I hold my hand up to her. I go, it's all right. It's all right. And I, I hand her some water from my water skin and give her a ration. All right. Uh, as you hand her the water skin, her throat is so dry she can, actually cannot drink. Oh, um, she's like, <laughs> like kind of spitting out the water. Uh, roll a medicine check. Okay. Here I go doing the medicine again. And kablam. Ten. That's exactly what you needed. Cool. Um, you've heard stories from, from Nariel about the desert lands, the far-off desert lands, um, and that creatures, you know, when they haven't drank for long enough, if you just give them water, it can actually hurt them. Um, it has to be, same with food, it has to be kind of a slow healing process. Right. Um, so by giving them too much immediately, you can actually make the problem even worse. So okay. at this point, they need a, an actual doctor at this point, you think. Okay. Uh, I check uh, the fella who hasn't responded to me. Okay. Uh, roll another medicine check for me. Here I go! A four. Okay. You go over and you, you touch his neck for a pulse, and you're like, wow, I'm really bad at this. And then you realize, oh, he's actually not with us anymore. He is dead. I was about to say, he's dead, Jim. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, Monty. Willow is gonna Willow's gonna run over towards you, Greckles. All right. While okay. she's running, just a really quick thing I want to do. Um, mm -hmm. Greckles will be cradling Sebastian at this point, and just just lowly whispering, over overhearing the idea that Taz get. Sebastian, can you speak? Uh, yes, I can. Greckles, right. my red friend. Or is it blue? <laughs> it's, oh. it's, 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 it's blue. Hang on a second. I'm going to take a five-foot step, and uh, I'm going to be a rogue for the first time in a long time. I'm going to activate my Mage Hand uh, Ledgerman, which specifically allows me to retrieve object, or excuse me, yeah, retrieve an object in a container worn or carried by another creature. I'm going to see if I can grab the orb off of Panic with that 30 feet. Okay, are you trying to sneak it from him, or are you just... I mean, I'll do the sneak at first just because time, but if he notices, I'll exp It's just time is, is very limited right now. Okay. Also, is there another side of cells that we didn't even check? You haven't checked. No. That is what Remy was going to do while... Ta and also, Task, when he said check him, he pointed to the devil checker thing on your belt pocket. Oh, okay. Well, I can also put the... I can also pull that stuff out. All right, as you look into that cell, Remy, uh, there's a singular guard inside. They seem able-bodied, uh, broken nose. Um, they are a dragonborn. Um, they are a male uh, bronze dragonborn, like blood coming out of the nose, couple broken teeth. Uh, and as you kind of lean in, they kind of like wince and look forward. This room, by the way, is extremely dry and very hot. Um, it is like sweltering. Um, they kind of like look up to you and they can't really see you very well. Um, you can roll a medicine check if you'd like to, Remy. <sighs> sure. As soon as I find it, uh, let's see. Can't be any worse than a four. You say that. <laughs> could be a three. I was about to say it could be a three. So I wouldn't jinx us. Hey, it's a six. It's, it's better. Six. <laughs> he looks beat up. You just know he looks beat up. You don't know. To what extent, but he's definitely beat up. I'm I'm keeping him in the cell until Tas can check him, but knowing that he's not dead, I'm gonna leave him there. Okay. Uh, and then I'll just move to the next one. Okay. Uh, immediately a stench hits your nose. Uh, as you look in, you see three shriveled guards. Jesus. Not wanting to stick around there, I'm just gonna check the last one. Okay. Once again, same poignant smell hits you. Three more. Oh, Jesus, long thing. They don't look rides. like they don't look like mummified or anything, do they? They look jerky-ish. Yes, they've <laughs> obviously like guard <laughs> jerky. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I... this is a hot, dry room. They obviously have not been fed, and they've not been given any water. Oh. And there's very little moisture to establish like proper, like you know, extremely crazy the, rot. The demons are making people jerky. <laughs> I assume they look like hollow. Was from Dark Souls or something. Yeah, that would be a really good way okay. to describe it. Uh, I'm gonna... um, oh, you sorry. can roll another medicine check there, Remy, as you look at both of these guards. Gross. 21. There's a lot 21. of 21. This could be anywhere to six months to half a year that these people have been down here. Damn. Looking at some of them. Uh, I'm going to cast over... Uh, the little tuner over both the uh, captives in here. Okay, no sound. Okay, uh, I walk out. I pretty much just like let them. I let them rest up for a little bit, and then I walk over to the other side. I look to Remy. That side's clean. There's only one over here. Sent a cell. All right, get inside. Uh, I mean, I guess we have to open this thing. Yeah. Yeah. It it is locked. It is locked, but with time, you can easily like these these Maragons had keys on them as well. So, oh, you could get yeah. your rogue friend. Hey, rogue friend, get over here and do it then. Um, Wait, they okay. have keys. You're good. To they have keys. Yeah. Um, okay. there is one dead thing in the middle of the room, according to the map, right here. Yes. Which, what is yeah. that? It, it did not go away. So the rest of them like Ooh. melted and fizzled away. But mm. similar to the Glabrezu and the Cambian Devil up top, this one melted but didn't disappear. So it's just a bubbling Can mass, and there's good. armor sitting there. Forky is going to grab it by the legs and just drag it what he can into the It is soup. It is not physical. Oh, no. It's just a big stain. Hmm. It's just a big stain on the ground. Above game, anyone got a pressure washer and know where the drain is? 
Let me just... I got you. I have, I have a proficiency in survival. Hey, hey, Monty, which uh, is the bottom left, the one where Stendon is? Uh, you see K currently in there. That's where uh, Raymond's gonna go next. All right. Um, I guess, I guess retroactively, Greckles would would call over. So just uh, panic. Do you have the orb? Of sending? Yes. yes. Do you mind if I use it? Yeah, go for it. Who are right. you going to call? I'm going I'm going to have Sebastian call Brork. Why Sebastian? Because if it's the actual Sebastian, better for Brork to hear his voice than us, if we're under suspicion. Is he even well enough to use the magic item? Yes he is. Okay, I'll hold up the orb ascending. And I will just mage hand it over. Okay, before we do that, mm -hmm. uh, Remy, you enter in the same cell as Kay. Mm -hmm. You currently see you're kind of like Slavic squatting in front of a body and lifting up what appears to be a cape. Um, and as you kind of come around and look over her shoulder, you see the undistinguishable, hollow, dried face of Stendon, uh, currently dead. Uh, some of the teeth have fallen out. The eyes are completely sunken in and gone. And you watch as slowly Kay just drops the cape and kind of shoots up. She hasn't noticed you and kind of like knocks into you, just kind of backing up, kind of in star like startled, like. <gasps> Pardon me. Remy's just gonna let her go. She kind of stumbles out a little bit definitely green in the face like pale and green uh is he when you said cape is it like a hood uh it appears the cape like doros has has one now um and senate always had one um it looks like someone whoever else was in the cell you notice the other bodies around aren't as old mm -hmm. um probably when they came in here took the cape off of his back and probably just draped his body with it just you know as sort of a you know discretion yeah. Yeah, I was I was gonna say if he has a long enough cape, I'd like to drape it over the body, specifically starting at the face and going down. Yeah, you just basically that's what Kay was lifting up. You just basically just put it right back where it was before. How decayed does this body look pretty decayed? Uh roll another medicine check. Okay. If this if this whole process is is taking a while, Panic will start ritual casting the tech magic. Okay. Ten. Ten. Um the thing you notice most about Stendhal and certain guards, there are certain ones you've seen that have been horribly wounded, like like extremely wounded. Um, others not wounded at all. Either they were you 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 assume based on this they were either tricked, they were lured. Others were full on like like body snatchers were killed or whatever. Stendhal is definitely the first like the oldest corpse in here, and. He is definitely the most. He he put up a fight. You can tell he put up a fucking fight. Mm -hmm. uh, um, then the last thing I would like to do is I would like to cast uh, Presidentation, and I'm going to do that while Greckles is doing his thing, and I'm just going to try to lower the body temperature so that it can preserve as much of the body as possible, so we can get it out of here. He is dried and preserved enough. Oh, you he don't is? really have okay. to do it. Yeah, he is like. He's pretty much mummified. Been, yeah. Got he it. looks like he's been here for at least a year. Oh my hey. god. God damn. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. was, I know which, it was a long time, but which, geez. Which, by the way, that would, means within the time period, the Stendon you guys had drinks with was not the Stendon you first oh. met. Oh, god, god damn. God. I knew we no, should have rolled insight on him. Are you a daemon? <laughs> We're going to uh, be rolling insight checks for every communication <laughs> interaction we have. I roll an insight right, on that. So, <laughs> okay, sorry. Do, 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 a, Aside from aside from the obvious, is there anybody in these cells that look familiar? Familiar besides Duros and Stendin, no. Um, you get the sense that most of the guards in here are from the second, like the the mid district. So they're all Stendin's guards, essentially, which makes sense if Stendin's been here for so long. The only ones who aren't are the what looks like the the Dragonborn guy. Um, who appears to be a first level guard and Doros and Sebastian. Huh. Doros is kind of the same as Denden as he's been probably beat to shit, which makes sense. He's the captain. Um, and Sebastian, it's not the most constitution heavy boy, so he might just be having a hard time. 
hey, before uh, we get Sebastian to say anything, Greckles, you should tell him where we are. Right. Uh, while that's going on, oh, I'm going to roll survival on the uh, Maragon. Okay. See if I can get anything out of this. The big fat 13. 13. I mean, the thing about this, which is weird, it's kind of in a state of half, like, half of it's here, if that makes sense. So, imagine you're making, like, a cake, and halfway through you just quit and you serve it. That's kind of what you're looking at here right now. Oh, that that's <laughs> fine, because all I want to do is I want to get some physical proof of this thing, and since it's not going away, I want to bottle up any sludge I get. Yeah, you can bottle up the sludge for sure. Um, the armor and stuff itself is very, like, it's not like, oh, look at this, this is totally belong to, like, a demon or whatever. It just looks like pieces of bronze and brass have just been kind of half-melted into this. Mm -hmm. The only thing that seems, like, the most tangible is its glaive, which didn't really fall into its pool of dissolvingness. Hell no, um, but even that. Th hmm? but, but even that is, like, just a weapon, really. It doesn't really have any distinguishing sort of features to it. Oh, me metal, metal is metal, but biomass is something even bigger than just having fucking rusted up metal, so I want that bio shit. Okay. Mm. Devil soup? Yum. So I'm gonna use one of the jars from the pots that I have been using and scoop up uh, the ichor. Okay, go ahead, you do that. Uh, just easy enough, you just kind of take the bottle, you kind of just like... It's very, like... I'd say the consistency is like half melted gelatin. Like that's basically the only way to describe it. But it's like really sticky, and it's kind of like um, you know ballistics gel. When ballistics gel kind mm -hmm. of gets kind of weird and kind of yeah. like you pull on it and it stretches, but it's still like yes. kind of like yeah, it's kind of like that. That's the way I would describe the viscosity of it. Hey man, anything to help us with proof? Because, right. because let's be real, at the end of the day, even though all the good things that we do here, we're going to end up on the fucking council for trial for getting up here in the first place. Mm -hmm. All righty. So, Greckles. Mm -hmm. Sebastian. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and drop out of invisibility at this point, just me instead of oh, a hallucination. Greckles isn't a ghost. Oh, good day. <laughs> Sebastian. This is an orb of sending. You can contact Brork. We can get you out of here. We can get back up. Are you strong enough to send a message to him? Uh, I mean, I could try, but I don't know what's going on. All right. So here's the here's the four one one. We're actually in. We'll the just say for the sake of brevity, yeah, you yep, just yep, relay yep. all the information. All the info. All right. He takes the orb of sending. You're, he's messaging Brork, correct? If he, unless there's someone better he can message, that would be the suggestion that I would have, just because we were charged by Rourke to figure this out. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna write down his message. Meanwhile, what do you guys, you guys can figure out what you want to do amongst yourselves. Mm. I have oh, been I'm gonna, ritual casting. So much better, it, honestly, if someone, a player could do this, because this feels kind of weird having me as the DM do it. Oh yeah. Can we just have a player do this, make the message for me? Uh, then have Rourke sure. do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Greckles, see. you write the yeah, message. Greckles, you did. It just makes it easier. Okay, 15, not, 15 words, sitting, right? It is 24 words. 25. 25, 25. sorry. Okay. Yeah, 25, my bad. All right. In the meantime, uh, Willow immediately... I have ritual cast detect magic. Okay. It's been 10 minutes. I... That's up to you. Yeah, I have no that's up to you. <laughs> okay. It has been 10 minutes then. Okay. All right. Uh, Willow rushes into the jail cell and just kind of like just hugs Doros, kind of just like checking him over, and he's just so like mm, like in pain, like he can't really react at all, like he can barely raise his arms and legs, like it's just very sad. Uh, Willow does try and give him potions, but they're not they're not working, um, and she's just kind of like like checking on him, making sure he's okay. Willow, that's not that's he's not harmed. He's exhausted. Don't. Don't give him any food or water. He needs a doctor. He, he is wounded too. He is even oh, I, with the potion. He's been fucked up pretty hard. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'll basically, just relay to her like, as much as we're here, he needs a doctor. He needs a medical profession. You guys need to keep going because I don't see Meryl here, but I can get everybody out. Everyone who's still with us. All right. I look back and see if Hasrod's still here. I'm a snake. I'm a snake. 
yeah, we're doing this, fuck yeah. He's kind of like backing up and kind of doing like kind of karate moves before he backs into the chamber <laughs> and stops and turns around. Uh, Full of corpses. There, there's the brevity we needed in this Jesus whole Christ. scenario. <laughs> Uh, Willow is going to ritual cast since you are ritual casting tech magic. She's going to ritual cast uh, ritual cast tensor's loading disc again. Okay. Um, and she's going to need your guys' help because she's going to load all the survivors onto the disc. Well, Borky will help with that. Yeah. Uh, she needs Not help. I said the bard. She needs help with taking off Doros's armor, and everyone needs to ditch their armor so they fit on top of this thing. Okay. So it can only throw. It can only hold three hundred pounds, and Doros will take up like ninety percent of that if he's wearing armor. So. <laughs> All right. I can so, at least help with that. Okay. With that, uh, while that's going on, I pretty much look to everyone else. All right. So, for the rest of us, we have a fight ahead of us. Do what you need to be prepared. And panic. Yes. No negotiations this time. This thing dies. Now. We need to remember he still has a hostage. I look over back at Hasrod. Can that be your job to get her out? He kind of, he, he pulls out the scroll and kind of tries to spin it in his fingers. He immediately draws, goes, oh fuck, shit, yeah, yeah, I got it. We're good. I'm feeling a bit tired. I don't know how much of a, how much I can wail. Whatever happens, I'm going to try and get in front of it. I feel like I'm the only one who could take a heavy hit right now. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit him as hard as I usually can. I've just... Guys, I, I think I might be demoned out today a bit, you know? Ugh. We know this that... thing can teleport, which means we need to space out and make sure that it can't get away from any one person. Okay. But this also... I have about... I have about six spells left in me. We'll save them all. Of one... I'm going to be, by and large, worthless, magically speaking, unless I can throw some fog around. Don't. This, this thing can see through every illusion I, I can crop. It, it, Greckles, just... it's going to move fast. You're the fastest of us. You'll be able to keep pressure on it and get out of there. Yeah, you need, you're going to need to... hope. You're going to need to stay on him. No fog, please. No fog, please. As long as you can, as long as, is... as long as you can keep his attention, then we're good. Oh, keep, in mind, can... it might still have, keep in mind, it might still have some gods in there. We might have to deal with them, too. This thing is going to move fast and it's going to hit hard. If he has extras, do we focus on them or we focus on the leader? Borky, you and I will handle the ground troops. Anybody that's able to hit him in the air should focus on him. <sighs> okay. That's my job then. Okay, I'll try. Borky hefts up one fault with some difficulty because because he's exhausted. Yeah, you have, you have, you have two points of exhaustion. We forgot time about the like first this, point last week, but now we know. We, we, so. caught, we caught up to it here. We'll just... In a time like this, I'd like to remind you all of the house words of Corbeau. Never die easy. No matter what happens, we will finish this. That's the whole reason I've been if alabas have... in the first place. At least we saved some people. Uh, at this point... Uh... We'll make a statue of us. It does take a while for you guys to, to strip the guards of their armor. None of them can move. That is the, the craziest thing about this. Um, also, you realize in the time that you're taking to prepare them all, uh, the bronze dragonborn actually had his tongue cut out. Oh. So that's why he's kind of was off and his teeth were broken as well. Um, the other two guards are definitely unwell, um, but Willow kind of loads them all up onto her tensor's floating disc. Um, and she kind of gives you guys a sort of tentative nod, like, you got this, uh, and she is leaving your party for now because she wants to get everyone to safety. No, that's Kay's good. Cool. Get her upstairs. Yep. Kay, Kay is staying with you guys, though. She seems very quiet. Can I insider? her? Go ahead, yeah. Love to. Uh, I don't think I need an insight to know what's going on. 23. The person she's been working for since she's come to the city is dead and the person she's been working for has been a rat the entire time so that's a lot to take in sure all right you guys proceed forward and as you do there's a rune in front of you god damn it i'll i'll just lightly tap a shoulder i have this you should focus the rest of your spells on counter spelling uh, yeah, agreed. We'll get this figured out. Uh, I have detect magic on. This is another glyph of boarding. 
Yeah, it's divination. This one actually has evocation with it as oh. well. The symbol's different, this one. That one is a trap. Um... Borky, are you still sticky? Is Borky... Actually, how much time has passed? It's, it's... Yeah. How long does it last? An hour. One hour. An hour. I'm trying to think. You activated that right before the first I room. would say, yeah, actually. I mean, you guys didn't go too far. This is a pretty contained area. So I'd say, yeah, you'd still be sticky. You probably have about 20 minutes left at all. I think I got a little bit. But don't forget your movement is halved because of your exhaustion. So I'm still pretty tired, so I can try my best to ferry people across if you can't make it go Unless away. you can... Unless you could scout ahead, see if there's anything we can use to get across. I would I would rather instead have him ferry us across. Tell you what, how point. about I ferry Task across and he can go for that first? Or you, Bird. That would work. That's better. Either way would work. All if right. not both. Ro okay, I'll Rochambeau you for it. <laughs> What's that mean? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Orc for I don't know. <laughs> uh, so Borky just kind of like Waits for which one of you wants to grab his ha his mighty hand. I mean, I'm small. I can mount him. Yeah. Ma yeah. You could take you can take two small creatures or one medium creature. If you take your time, Does... if you're rushing, then you have to make checks. Two small creatures, you said. Yes, but you only have one, which is task, unfortunately. So Borky is Reckles going. Is medium. Yeah. So I will take task first. All right. Mm -hmm. I will also say because Remy is wearing armor, you will have to roll a check with him. Makes sense. Yeah. All right, All right, Borky so takes task. Uh, yeah, task. Uh, that's kind of it for me there because it's twenty. So technically, it would be. Shoot, I gotta do a measurement here. Yeah. Oh, it it, lur it lurches over to that side. All right, so Borky, oh, yeah. Borky, what Borky's gonna do? Borky's gonna do like he's gonna do this along the roof, like this. He's gonna walk up this side, go over one just space, up and, up. and walk down the other way. That way we avoid. I mean, I think it'd be faster if you just. Walk up this wall and then do the yeah, because yeah. that way you yeah. sideways you just cut the yeah. corner. You know, I'm glad you're here, panic to point that out. Forky <laughs> does that. It's true. You do have <laughs> eight intelligence. That's true. It is. <laughs> it's weird when you do that voice. All I hear is a buzzing sound. Is there a wall Crazy. right here? Uh, yes. This is just another corridor. Uh, as you see, it leads up. Uh, just roll a general perception check for me. Task. This is gonna be a sure sight based one. thing. Uh, oh, it closed out. My bad. Here's my... Sure. We. Not bad. Yeah. Mm. Perfect, yeah. Up ahead, you see a double set of double doors um, with a bunch of kind of inlay carving into the wood, and it is flanked by two braziers, kind of similar to the ones in the, uh, uh, the, the sort of jail cell room. Um, it is closed, and you don't see anything else for now. All right, I will sneak up to it. Okay. All right. Uh, meanwhile, Borky behind. Borky walks back over. If you can let me do this, if uh, so, Borky, yeah. Borky walks. I will say for the sake of ease, mm -hmm. you are gonna ferry everybody over. Yes. Greckles is next. One at a time. Greckles, K, Panic, <laughs> then he Heavy Remy. Now this. I. Yes. My, my I, I have an alternative <laughs> idea. What? Okay, Connor, what, what's your plan? Sorry. Oh, I could stay behind and dimension door Remy over the pit. You're wasting a spell slot, though. That I'm using my highest level spell slot yeah, for so that. Yeah, so that's no. Mm -hmm. I'd, 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 ra I'd rather get... I, oh, fuck, it's such a gamble. Can I just throw Remy across it? <laughs> what? That would that would also be a check as well. Damn! Just grab you by the tail and the... the, and the Trust me. <laughs> Don't Is tell me out! feathers? Don't tell the elf. Um, all righty. Well, Borky is going to try and hold him up and pick him up here, not over the rune. Uh, actually, Kay offers. She says, if you need me to, I do have one more slot for a, a floating disc as well. I might. If if I lift him up and me back goes out because of how exhausted I feel. Oh, feels like more. Let's. I'll do that. It's my last slot of that spell level, but that's okay. I still have uh, my denial spells. Um, it's, it's okay. It's just magic is like so powerful, and like so am I. And I feel like I can keep going, but the magic might stop. 
I mean this with no offense, but you literally look like you're about to die. <laughs> you look terrible. <laughs> uh, take the just, tensor. I, I'm not gonna. Take the tensor. I, I just. Right. I. She. She will cast tensor floating disc, and it appears on this space right here. Can I also yeah. ride on it? <laughs> Poor Jesus. Yeah, you. Just, you walk on it. It kind of bulks a little, like it kind of buckles under the weight, but it does stay floating. Like a cat on a Roomba. Here's the here's the thing. Here's the thing. Exactly. Fuck yeah. Hey Monty. Hi. Before we uh, before we go in there, I'm gonna chug one of my health potions, the big one. Okay. Uh, by the way, who needs a health potion? Because I have mine. I I, still have I could I use have... more, but I'm gonna chug my big one. I have. I one. think I'm good. So eight d four plus. Oh my god, where's my character sheet? Oh no! I have, I have, I have all, I have all of one. Mm. How many do you have? Okay, I have two two d fours plus fives, one four d four plus five. So I'm keeping that one. Mm -hmm. Uh, one two d six plus five and one eight d four plus ten. Um, I also I have uh, I have several other healing options for us in case we need them. I still have the scroll of mass cure wounds. Right. I have my own 84 plus 10. I have healing word. Um, it's a meta gaming to say what our health is. So, huh? Yeah, you guys can say at this point. Not in combat, but out of combat, you can. At, I'm at 80 right now. <laughs> I, I actually should be fine. I'm at full, and I've got my one eight, 84 plus 10. And, I, and I'm at 66 out of 67, so I'm fine. I'm at and 31 I'm at, uh, out of 48. And I'm at 41 out of a lot more than that. Uh, so, Remy, drink your drink, and then that's we'll what see I was going to do before we go in there. I was going to drink the big one so that I can get as close to full before we get in there as possible. I. Uh, so it's like four, is it eight of these. Good grief! Eight drink D4 your plus ten. Drink your purple flirt, my dude. Yeah. Just let me grab my purple. All right, all right. So here we go. So that's twenty plus ten, which is thirty. So that puts me at full. Cool. All right. Nice. Nice. Um. I'm going to give Remy my 2d6 plus 5 as a okay. pocket heal. 2d6 plus 5. Write that down. Uh, I'm going to give K my... Uh, I'm going to give K a 2d4 plus 5. K kind of takes it and she's like, are, are you sure? I have one more. She pockets it. All right. No offense. You are squishy. no offense, but you are very squishy. You you, you <laughs> will need that more than most of us. She kind of like gives you this look where she's like, I know you know you're right, but you don't have to say it. That sort of look where it's just like Tash is like 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 points at himself, just like me. You don't expect me of all people to say that. No, mm. you're right. Uh, Borky, you said you have. What are your pots? Uh. I've a silly question. I found my sheet where I wrote down the pots. Uh, have I used any of them yet? Does anyone remember? I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. You need that, to be up to you. Yeah, I, lost, yeah. I lost the sheet, unfortunately. I apologize. Guys. You I'm have so, to I, keep track of that. I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say how many is on there. Two. Uh, you have uh, one. Two times D, two D4 plus five. I do remember I still have the eight D4 plus ten. I still have yeah. that one. I remember. Yeah, nobody's used that one yet. Yeah, okay. so I'm I just used. Say, that. I'm the first one to use that. Okay, one. let's just say. I'm it. gonna say you have one of the small one and the one you just said. So gotcha. remove okay. one. That's just unfortunately a penalty of not remembering. I'm yeah, sorry. No, no, that to, is. You need to keep track of it. To get okay. ammunition. I've lost half of my uh, character sheet. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to me remake it. I think. All right, shit. Are you not keeping it all on the online sheet? No, I'm not having me keep it. I've been doing a physical one, and something it's missing now, and I don't know what happened. So. I'm, okay. I'm gonna uh, you should really. You do. should really type it. Uh, into okay. Yeah. I, this, this is a lesson learned. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Any, anyway, yeah. Greckles. What anyway. about you? <sighs> I've oh, got the call him out. I've got the big Willow special. That is about it, but that should be more than enough. All right. Uh, wait a minute. I just like to task snaps his fingers and looks at Hasrod. Yeah. I hand him my last two D four plus five for Meryl in case in case things go south. That's that's. that's uh, he watches like a single sweat drop kind of runs down his snake face. Thanks, and he pockets it. I am out of sharing <clears throat> potions with anyone else at this point. I am keeping these for myself. You're okay. fine. Move forward, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah uh, Remy's going in first. 
to the door. You see uh, it is a double door, and it has a uh, four, four-pointed star on the front of it. Can I, as, as, as group rogue, uh, have a look over to see if there are any mundane traps to this thing? For sure, absolutely. Go ahead and make a uh, investigation check would be if you're poking around with it. Yes, ma'am. That is a 25. 25. Uh, it is not trapped. It appears to be not be trapped. Um, it is a magical door. So mm. there is no physical lock or latch to it. It is sealed with magic, um, but it appears to not have any trap. It's clean on my end, but this thing is magical. I still have detect magic. It is oozing magic. Each point of the star emits a different magic, and the center of the star also emits a different magic as well. Um, a bunch there's of kind different of, schools. It's basically the center one kind of has a sort of like um, almond kind of shape, but it's kind of like all like symmetrical. Um, the point from the top is evocation, is at the top. Uh, to the right of that is illusion. To the right of that is necromancy. To the bottom right is enchantment. To the bottom left is transmutation. To the left is abjuration. To the top left is conjuration. And right in the center is divination. Oh, God. You notice that in the center and on the tips of each, there is a sort of like a flat, almost cold, glassy, chalky kind of surface to it. Uh, what would what would be the check to decipher this? Uh, roll an Arcana check for me. Okay. Not my best roll, but here I go. A nat 20! <laughs> oh my god. Mm. The one non-magical guy. I saw Nario carve this once. <laughs> <laughs> so, looking at the actual flat surfaces near each corner, these are practice, basically like a way to practice runes without casting the spell. And there's one for each different spell class. So this doesn't feel like it's a trap, more like it's a conduit for other magic. It appears to be some sort of puzzle to this door. It is a lock puzzle to this door. I explain that to everyone. Hmm. I'm <sighs> guessing we need to cast the spell of each school to unlock the lock. And probably in a specific order. Uh, does anyone here know any necromancy by any chance? That is very illegal. Uh, Tale of Thorns uh, <laughs> is Conjuration. Hunter's Mark is Divination. Why don't, we, why don't we? Why don't we test this? Can Can someone use a cantrip of sorts? I could use a uh, cantrip. Kate kind of puts up her hand. I have an enchantment cantrip. I have an illusion cantrip. I have a and an abjuration cantrip. But that just leaves necromancy then at that point. There's a reason no one touches necromancy in Alavast. Or at least they shouldn't. Or locks like these. No. Oh, but doesn't Hoshrod do that? Uh, what? Um... He's like sweating bullets. Hasrod, we need to save Meryl. Can you do it? <sighs> oh wait, hold on. That's not a good thing, right, Hasrod? Because it means that um. My sister will know where I am. There's nothing worse than a sister. Shut the fuck up. But up, but up, up. Look, I don't mean to be rude, and I have no idea who your exhaustion is, but it's either you do it, or we're not saving Meryl. All right, fine! I have a spell called Toll the Dead. Well, let's just, just hang on. Let's test this first before we start making rash decisions. All right, so just let's let's give it some space. Let me see if I can cast a minor illusion over at the... Uh, task. you said that one was the illusion point, right? Uh, I point out which points they were, so yes. Yeah. With the detect magic, you're able to discern which is which, which is very nice and makes mm -hmm. this puzzle super fucking easy. <laughs> Woo! All right, so, <laughs> so illusion is top right corner. All right, Genjutsu, top right, right corner. As you cast illusion, 
a minor illusion, the glyph <laughs> glows and you see the runic component to the minor illusion spell fill the space. Oh, really? So like everything that comprises the spell? Yep, it just swallows the spell. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Mm. Hey, quick question. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Because yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Discord just auto-updated for no reason. No, you're fine. Check your audio. Oh, no, no, no. My audio's still going. That's okay. Never yeah, audio's not connected to Discord, but... All right. So, yeah, that glyph is completely filled in. All right. Seems like it works. I should go. I don't have anything cool like that, but if you want me to hit something with me sword, I can do that. Unless Romfolk's sword has a kind of magic in it. Taz, like, right. shakes his head. Like, no, no, we are Re not, Remy we are will, not in this. Remy will step forward and touch the uh, transmutation uh, pedestal. Okay. Dolum. And cast presentation. All right. That works. That fills in that space. <sighs> uh, Greg will... Panic will lean forward. Sorry. Uh, and he'll, he'll whisper into the lock. Hey, lock, you fucking suck. And I'll cast Vicious Mockery for enchantment. Yep. <laughs> Fuck you, Locke. I see you walking home from school with your baggy jeans. Gre Greckles will- I see you in the street. I'm slapping the shit out of you. <laughs> Greckles will raise his hand up and whisper, Yurete, and cast Mage Hand on the Conjuration Point. Okay. That one fills up. Uh, I'll Kay do my- Oh, sorry. Kind of bouncing the fire to hand. <laughs> Throws the firebolt at the evocation. <laughs> It just gets swallowed, almost like a vacuum cleaner sucking up a plastic bag. It just gets pulled in. Gotcha. Have we done transmutation yet? No. No, that one was done by Remy. Ah. You have abjuration? Present digitation is abjuration. Oh, is it? Okay. Is it? It listed a transmutation on my sheet. Let me take a oh, fucking. All right, guys, whip out the books. Rest. I have, ab I believe I have abjuration. It is... Transmutation. I don't know why it's abjuration on my. <laughs> yeah, I don't know it, either. It might that would be great if it was. I dragged it. I dragged it directly from the compendium. Yeah, so did I. I don't know why it's. Different. Did they change it? Maybe. No, they this did is just an update the this, spell list. So this might, might be a magical been. effect. Uh, anyway, so, so we have abjuration, divination, and necromancy left. Uh, abjuration. I think. I'll, I'll conjure my mage hand, which should also be nope. abjuration. I already did that as conjuration. That is conjuration. I Again? Did. Yeah. Et two mage hand. So which ones Which ones were the ones that we didn't do yet? We need abjuration. abjuration, divination, and necromancy. I can knock out abjuration, but I have to burn a slot to do it. And I can knock out divination, but I have to burn a slot. Uh, and I got necromancy, but my sister's gonna know where I am. We could kill your sister. Wow, how did Hosrod talk above game? Holy shit. We could kill your sister, Hosrod. Remy's gonna step forward and he's gonna cast uh, shield on the abjuration. Okay. As you cast a spell, it does not spend the slot, but it absorbs the runic component oh, of the thank spell. thank goodness. Ooh, oh, yeah. cool. Oh, good. Oh. Right. Cool. You don't spend your slots. It's just you have to cast this. Hooray! Like, awesome. Oh, will, all right. Then, well, that's all right. Then I will cast Hunter's Mark on the door. That's divination. Divination done. And Hostrad, you watch as Hostrad walks up to the necromancy, puts his palm on it, and you hear a low bell toll ring through the room. Goom, goom. As the door, all points of the door begin to almost like glow and then coalesce in the center. The eye opens, cracks in half, and the door opens. Sword and shield out for Remy. Okay. Everyone's, I think everyone's going to oh. take their battle stances. <laughs> yep. Immediately yeah. the stench I'm gonna, of... I'm... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just, just going to lean back to Hotrod real quick and say, I can, I can get you in there real quick, and you can get Meryl out of here if we have an opportunity. I have this. He holds up the scroll of Dimension Door that Willow gave him. Yeah, but you need to touch her first. Yeah, I'll get to her. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, you guys enter in. Give me one second here, sorry. Man, I, I, I could have I joshed the whole toll of bells and just went, Dory, man. God damn it. Only one way to open this door. Halo Gregorian chants. <laughs> oh, yeah. It only works here because of the echoing, you see. 
Do that Final Fantasy 10 shit to me. <laughs> anyway. Kimari <you> smile. <laughs> I yelled that towards my door. My neighbors heard that. And I wanted. <laughs> anyway. So, as you guys, the door shifts open. You guys all immediately grab your weapons at the ready. The immediate scent of books hits your nose, along with incense and burning brimstone. Uh, this space is also warm. It's a bit uncomfortably warm. As you guys enter in, you see a plethora of shelves stacked and crammed with books. And you see in the center of the room a bed. And lying on it motionless is Meryl. Ooh, I don't trust that. That's such a fucking trap. <laughs> Also, looks no. like it, nobody is, else, as we can see. Just Meryl. And tis, all the tis, tis this a room we see on the floor uh, in front? Um, I, 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 tis is, indeed. We... Borky just pretty much does the gif. That's bait. From Mad Max Fury Road. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yep. Detect magic is on. Oh, this place is oozing with magic. You just looked at the sun with your, with your, with your night vision goggles. Not uh, I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm, notably, gonna, I'm gonna turn on. Notably, the center rune is rife with conjuration. Conjuration. That's the rune. Uh, I'm gonna. Be, I'm just gonna do this real quick, just so we can see for brevity's sake. Okay. Yeah, the rune is oozing conjuration. Uh, these fireplaces are also oozing conjuration as well. Oh. Yeah, this is all lining up. It's, it's like a cocktail room of magic. There's just so much in here. Hey, panic. Psst. Yes. I don't know what's going to happen here. We got to do this carefully, but I, if it, when the fighting starts, or if it does, all them papers there are going to be burnt to a cinder immediately. Why don't you take that hole and just knock as much of them into the into that portable hole as you can? That way, we have like lots of physical proofs because all the bodies disappears. Dude, what I'm talking about. Not gonna lie, Borky? Yeah. I kind of don't want to go into the room. <laughs> well, I don't want to be here either, but here we are. No, I mean, like, anything could be a trap. Oh, that whole room's I a trap. I guess I don't see it, but. That whole room's a trap. That's so true. Uh, I'm getting a lot of conjuration from the rune, and the rune is just taking up this space, right? It, I don't see any, like, ley lines or anything tied to it or something. It would be... Oh, fuck me. Oh, God, the scrolling button. <laughs> oh, God. oh, God. Oh, God, it's, it's the same. It's, the same. it's got a mind, mind of its own. It's got a mind of its own. Uh, it would encompass... My phone is going off. Uh, it would encompass kind of around there. I'd say probably, okay. actually, just, like... Whatever square the actual rune itself occupies does count as the rune. Hey guys, I would like to, I, I want to say this to everyone else in, in the game right now. I want, I would have Task go around here one to the, hide. One like of the, the braziers. Same. Same. Yeah. I, um, not to take away from our strategy thing, but something just changed about how I'm playing my character. I need to click this real fast. I've been misreading Danger Sense. Oh yeah. Gain advantage to deck saving throws for traps and spells. You must see the traps and the spells. I have not been. <laughs> I, yeah. I've, yeah, it's, it's yes. important you know what you can do. I've I've not been doing that for the entire. That's not good. <laughs> for the that's entire like, campaign. Like, like, that's like things like fireball and thunderbolt spells. You'd have advantage on. Mm. That's actually pretty huge. So yeah. <laughs> stuff stuff that anything that requires. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah. just above game really quick. I do like Tass' idea. I Greckle. I would love to have Greckles go the other way. Yeah, and I would like to go behind here, sneak wise. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, both you guys roll a stealth check. Sneaky boys. Hashtag sneaky boys. Yeah. Please be good with a plus nine in stealth. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a fourteen. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five. Are you two going in there? You the guys. Stealthy guys are yes. We're sneaking around you guys the edges. Sneak around. 
Huh? You guys hide. It's very hot next to these fire sources. I gotta tell you guys, it's really great. <laughs> yeah, you're a comfortable task. Freckles, you're a little hot under the collar, but... <gasps> I don't. Uh, okay. I can't sweat. I, I feel like since I have the tech magic on, I should lead the charge, so to speak, here. So I'm gonna tentatively circle around this rune, and uh, uh, you know, what? I'm just gonna stay right there. I think actually, and just get a better look at that desk he's got. Okay. Uh, the moment you hit that, you sense more conjuration, um, necromancy. Uh, as well as just a slew of other things. This is a very similar, uh, familiar sight to you. Uh, this appears to be a potion and scroll-like workspace, essentially. Um, Willow has a very simple, like, similar sort of setup in her her part of the tower, um, and you get the sense that very clearly uh, has been working on potion spells, things like that. Um, notably, in terms of like finished products, they all appear to be duds. They're almost like half finished, if that makes sense. So the magic isn't extremely potent. They look to be like a, kind of the rejects at the moment. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Panic. Re oh, sorry, go ahead. Panic. What? How much do you want to bet that's not Meryl? Sort of narrows his eyes. Huh. Hang on. Meryl is... Oh, actually, you'd sense it. Three, five. You are. Um, as you stand there, the that kind of off-putting, like, center area where Meryl is sleeping, there is, from floor to ceiling, a cylindrical magical barrier. Oh. That's probably Meryl. There is a magical barrier surrounding it. I can see it. I suppose that's good at least. Can we go from the bottom or from above? I can still go from above. Because I got my spider climbing for like uh, five minutes. From the ceiling to the floor. No. Really? It goes all the way up to the ceiling? Yes. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Can anyone see him? Is he in here? Uh, can I roll a perception check? Absolutely. Go right ahead. Uh, here I go, doing the I perception would also like again. to do the same thing. With a 17. 17? With a nat 20. Oh! Hey, he's got it. <laughs> there is no one in here besides you and Meryl. Oh, How? My... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? Okay. okay, above game, there's... Okay, never mind, sorry. Monty, are there is there a lot of space underneath these desks? Oh yeah, there's up, a reasonable amount. There's there's stacks of books on the floor, but you could you could squeeze through if you want to. Yeah, I would like to actually just to kind I, of get closer. I was going to suggest the same thing for task for this place right here. Okay. Yeah, just basically what I uh, if you guys want to move forward, you guys want to move stealthy, you're just gonna move. Oh, stealthy. oh absolutely, no stealthy. Right. Both of you guys, both both you guys roll stealth checks. Please, baby, please. Twenty. That's better. Seventeen. Okay, yeah, you guys move stealthy enough up against the wall. Greckles, immediately your eyes catch the, the nature of these books and these these scrolls. They are old. And not like, oh, I've been sitting in a library for a really long time. Like, have been sitting in a tomb or an ancient temple a really, really long time. These are so unbelievably old and archaic. They should be, like, literally in a museum to be preserved, but they're literally opened on a table. I have such a terrible idea that I will not execute, but God, I would just be curious how it would work. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, task, if you shuffle beneath the table, your hand kind of hits something sticky. You kind of lift it up and you're like, Ugh, it's just kind of some potion residue. Um, you kind of smell various different alkaic chemicals uh, and also blood. Uh, as you do get closer and you look, there are human eyeballs and other human parts um, on the table, obviously components to whatever this creature has been making. Tess nods his head. Nice. <laughs> Trophies. Hot <laughs> ducks back down. All right. Uh, actually, can mm -hmm. I see what's on the table? Like, uh, obviously from the eyeballs and everything, is there anything in particular that I recognize on this table? Uh, you would see similar tools that Willow uses. So, like, um, I wouldn't know what the term would be, but, like, like a Benson, like a Benson burner kind of magic, press and digitation burner. Ba baby's like first alchemy stuff. 
yeah, like Baby's First Alchemy. It's definitely a more refined set and definitely well used. The thing that kind of is missing when you look at Willows, she would have like a crate with with potions next to it. There is no product except for the duds next to uh -huh. this table. So very clearly, whatever's being made here is being supplied and is not staying around for too long. Is there any loose paperwork that I could grab? Uh, sure. Roll an investigation check for me. Yahoo! <laughs> Bumpkiss. Three. 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 You shuffle through papers. All of them are written in a language you do not understand, and none of it makes any sense to you. I would pull out uh, Orchestra, but I'm not going to do that just yet. That is a bad idea, because the moment she talks, I feel like her uh, volume settings might be notched up a little higher than we would like. <sighs> hmm. I'm in the radius of that bookshelf. You are, yes. You detect, you, you actually do detect a little bit of magic, but it's kind of like, again, a cocktail of magic. You get the sense that it's probably a mixture of historical tomes and magical tomes. So, magical books. Panic. What? Can you detect any kind of alarm magic? What would that be? What school? Divination. You would know that. Thanks, God. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I? I mean, you detect little, little, like, snippets of it here and there, but it's not, like, an ongoing thing. You get the sense it's probably just, like, divination runes within books, if, if, if anything. Um, definitely the cylindrical chamber around Meryl is giving off divination as well. Clearly, this, Meryl's... you say, is similar to maybe an alarm spell or something of the nature. Meryl's barrier, I think, might be... it's That's divination, or at least there's some divination in there. Which means the a... books... Not so much. Which means there's a good chance if we try to take it down, whatever's in here is going to know, or it'll come back. Ugh. Should I, should I keep, should I keep moving? Yes. Investigate the room before we do anything. Okay. Can I? Uh. I'm just looking from floor to ceiling, looking for scrying orbs or. Uh, more runes on the ground. Within the radius of your spell, you don't detect anything beyond what I've described. Okay. Well, then I will. I will keep moving. And okay. I will being being a squirmy small boy, can I get behind from this book? Can I get behind this bookshelf? Sure. Yeah, I'd say just make a dex check with advantage for me. Sure thing. Because I I have a plan. I'd like to try to get around the other side of the room. Uh, dex with add. What? Oh, yeah. Dex with add. Here I go. 15. 19. Oh, 19. Yeah, yeah, with advantage. Yeah, easy enough. You squirm behind the bookshelf, and, like, there's a solid noise as you pop out the other side. <laughs> um, as you went behind the bookshelf, there's, like, dead insects behind there, and it's real nasty. Oh, um, cool. <laughs> and, like, Crunch. crumpled up papers and stuff like that. But it's beyond that, you managed to make it to the other side. Once again, kind of toasty but comfortable for you. It's like a tanning rod. <laughs> Borky goes up to just the edge of the room and whispers, Panic! Panic! What? I'm what? sure you steal all the books for proof. And when they ask for proof, we just pull I... a pile of it on the ground. I mean, I don't really want to touch anything in here, though. I could come around his side and I could push it from the other side. You just open up the portable hole. I just want to say above came. We're being really stupid right yeah, now. Yeah, I know we are. Yeah, yeah we, we are. are. Or oh, don't do it. It's fine. Do your thing. All right, what are we doing? Uh, I'm going to keep... Uh, I'm going to try to... Just uh, go ahead. I'll, I'll move up a little bit. Uh, same sort of, uh, same sort of experience, like, feeling from the bookshelves. Most of the books on this particular shelf are magical in nature. As you get forward, this one, there's a lot less magic. There's, in fact, there's, like, very little. Hmm. Uh, looks like, uh, just actual books. Actual historical tomes, yeah. Um, some of them range from recent history 
uh, and some of them, similar to what Greckles is finding, are beyond ancient, like handwritten, like skin books that have been bound by like old methods. Are they mole skins? He pulls out an actual mole. Do I recognize any languages? Uh, you would have books. to get closer to read the actual words. I will definitely do that. Okay. Yeah, I'll just uh, do it. Would I have to be five feet away from him, or just would would this would this? That works. Um, go ahead and roll just a general history check for me. General history. Okay. Is gonna be sixteen. All right. A lot of them have to do with cosmic phenomenon, um, specifically stars, um, navigation through the stars. And a lot of the books are actually unmarked. They don't have any names on them. And you get the sense that with that history check, some of these books are before the time of man. Jesus. Oh, uh, they're not written we're, for us, really, so let's just ignore them. We're talking like... like ancient like elven scripture oh money you're giving me fucking and, massive spell jammer vibes <laughs> and i sense very little very I little sense very little magic some of them have some enchantments okay. on them probably just for preservation you you assume especially the old ones there's a couple old ones that very clearly should be as destroyed as they are but they aren't so very clearly someone valued them and put a put an enchantment on them to keep them up to snuff I will tentatively then begin to shuffle a couple of what I think are pertinent books into the portable hole. Okay. Um, you managed to grab a couple. Um, some of them are about infrastructure, some of them are about political stuff. Um, and especially the really, really old ones, you get the sense that these are probably from an Almon collection of some nature. So very clearly, the Almon clergy has access to this and it has been taken. Someone's going to get a wing of a library named after them. I want to um, I want to mutter something over to Panic if he can hear me in earshot. And Panic, while you're doing that, you do detect something. Oh, boy. Um, all the way to the far right, there is a chest on the ground, and as you pass over that chest, you detect a mild but dormant hint of necromantic energy coming from the chest. <laughs> you also you also detect on the lock itself uh, evocation magic. Mm. Mm. It's about fucking detect magic is playing, paying you guys dividends right now. Yeah, Let, let's just be happy one of us has it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So, so as panic rummages through all the books and dumps them in the hole, nothing really happens, correct? There's no alarm no. that we're aware of. No, I, I scanned. Panic loading books. I scanned it with detect magic. There shouldn't be any. There shouldn't be any magical contraptions anyway. I, I mutter over to panic then. What do we do about this barrier then? <sighs> I mean, could I could I see if it's like a m item or like a what kind of spell it would be? You know, it's some sort of divination, so it's some sort of alarm spell of some nature. Could I do an arcana check to see what what specifically it is? Sure. Okay. Arcana is going to be not great. 18? 18. It's an alarm spell, but it's definitely exceeding what an alarm spell should do. You're not sure. It is kind of unique to this situation. You're not 100% certain. It is definitely, it could be a combination of two or more spells just by the Jeez. nature of its size. You are it's, it's you are alarm... dealing with a master like, like spell caster here, so... It's an alarm spell, but there's more stuff on top of it. I'm not sure if just general dispelling will work here. Greckles. Yes. What are you up to? Are you just hiding? Um, Greckles is actually going to mage hand one of the ancient scrolls. Not physically touching it, but just kind of like from underneath, just just Jedi pulling. Okay. Just, just to see what happens. You pull one out, and the ones on top kind of, like, topple inwards as you yank it out. Uh, you, you physically hold or you use mage hand, sorry? Just mage handing for the moment. Okay. Yeah, you mage hand it. It is definitely delicate. Um, as you bring it towards you, it smells not terrible, but old. Like, really, really old. Uh, it is a skin parchment scroll that is wrapped up. Mm -hmm. um, and it appears to have been 
probably accessed pretty recently. There's some dust that's kind of missing around, along the clasp end of where the, the scroll kind of rolls up. Crap, I can't reach you. Uh, I guess I'll just uh, pseudo hang on to it then. I know it's going to be... Is that concentration? What, mage hand? Yeah. I don't believe so. I don't believe it is. No, no, no I guess not. Either. All right. Last a minute. All right. Well, I'll yep. just hang on to it then. It's for just the floating there. Yeah, it's just floating there, hanging out. I've got, I've got some plan. I, I've, there's something I could do above game if I needed to, but man, it would be last resort. So I'm just gonna hang on to that. If anyone else has anything else to do, uh, I would like to get a better vantage and try to sneak my way over here, uh, in okay, between the, the bookshelves. Book Once again, dexterity check with disadvantage. This? Yeah. yeah. You gave him advantage, right? I'm sorry, advantage, advantage, my bad. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, this, what happened? <laughs> usually, usually, usually this would be free, I would let you just do it, but the fact that the bookshelves are not anchored to the ground means you have a chance to knock shit off, so that's why you're rolling. Okay, knock it over a panic, or panic. Oh, well, thank God, because I had that, oh, no. that one on the other side, 14. Ooh, 14, panic, as you're reading a book, you watch as something darts behind the shelf and scares the shit out of you. <gasps> Fuck. Fuck. Tashish goes <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> oh, Zito, I can't see. Back. you. I'm here. I, I no. Oh. Tass, Tass literally just shushed him. Just went like put a finger to his mouth, peeking out out of between the bookshelves. Oh, I didn't hear oh, you. Oh, my bad. So yeah, he kind of. What are the four doing? Four of them down doing down there. We're, I don't know. We're all Kate's loud. Just kind of looking. We're all She's loud. He's like, should I go? In? Should I go in and help, or should I stay here? Kay, is there any way for you to identify? more of what that barrier is able to do, or if you can even get it down. Sure, I'll take a look. She's gonna... I'm gonna cautiously. escort her. Alright. Yeah. Oh, wow, she rolled really high on her self-check. Oh, wait, if we're out. sneaking around, I'm not escorting her. Well, she's just being stealthy. You can choose not to be stealthy if you don't want to. Um, I have to say this, but I have to bust for an emergency pee really bad. No, or go, go ahead. Thank you, I thought you almost said no. That would have been bad. Does anybody else need a break? Because we can take a break. Yes, here. right now. I don't need one, right. but it's All fine. Right. We will take a break here as you guys continue your investigation in the, uh, presumably, the Little workspace lair. of yeah. the Arcana Loft. Oh, boy. Welcome to my evil lair. The tension. Would you like some scones? No. I guess there's no pleasing you, Zed. <laughs> I'll, I'll use the room as well. We're taking a break. All right. I'll be right back as well. I got to get something to drink. My mouth is getting gross. I guess I'll stay here with the chat like always. Time. Your troop. Yep. No, I got you guys. Don't worry about it. What's up, guys? Uh, a lot of people. There's over two thousand people here. That is impressive. This is hot. Damn. Biggest, yeah. This is one of Hello. the biggest shows. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yeah. That's wild. Welcome in. Sorry, I was just checking, double checking some notes real fast. Okay. Uh, one, two, whoa, one, two, three, four, five hundred and change. Will E. Shadow, thank you for the bits, dude. I'll be right back. What up, guys? Oh, did we take a break? Yeah, we're yeah, taking we're a break. Go, a break. go. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, oh, I figured. I figured. I'm I'll actually lock the chat down. Water and everybody else. Right, Osco, right. you're a genius oh, we'll for snack. thinking right. to check the guards. I got to do something smart. Normally, it's Connor who's fucking brilliant. I'm just trying to keep up. Uh, break time. Don't forget to have a drink of water. I already actually got my water right here. Hell hydrate. Uh, Serenade of the Eclipse, 250 bits, possible title, case closed with double Ks. Nice, interesting. Like it. I'm feeling it. Spell jamming and other fucky wuckies. Indeed. Oh, wow, you're back quick. Hello. Bosco, do you just not have a bladder? I guess not, or I'm better at doing it beforehand. 500 bits from Trainer Shoshiro. Made a gremlin alchemist for my campaign. His name is Bosco. <laughs> Great. There was actually a show I worked on where one of the characters' name was Bosco, and I didn't get to play him, and I was very, very unhappy. That does this, happened to me. Does this gremlin character shoot computers? You know what, Zito? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Origins Fury, 100 bits. My second bits ever missed me on the first one. It's okay. I just wanted to thank TFS and Pals for all they do. It's said to see DBZ end, and you've already made characters that have me more invested than Goku ever did. Let's go bully a nerdy fox demon. See, I think it's a lot of people, just to speak on that real quick, also uh, Schrodinger's CAD, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Mm. Also, thank you for the 500 bits, uh, Brutus Maximu. Uh, yeah, 
I think TFS doing different stuff is great. I think it's an evolution of them starting out small and having become really good creators that do a lot of really good stuff. Lenny does D&D. I know uh, Kaiser's streaming. Kurt's obviously got wrestling and the Unexpectables, and that's blown up both separately and independent of each other. So this is a great opportunity for them to kind of bring a close to a chapter in their lives and for all of them to work together on new and creative stuff that they can actually monetize a lot better because they'll own the rights to it as opposed to being held down by Toei obviously having the rights to DBZ. I think it's great for them. Nobody wants to see anything end, but all good all, things come all, to end eventually. All good things must end, unfortunately. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think it's really positive for them, but I get why fans of the show would be upset. Uh, two cents change with the Twitch Prime sub. That's 21 months missing work to see this whoa don't miss work to don't see this hold that. on my dude don't do that don't don't mm -mm. monty said it before no. make sure you study make sure you go to work do not take off work or take off school for this it will be in the podcast and in the vods for two weeks well that and i have an ear infection and stomach virus oh oh okay, no okay. well that'll do that's, that's 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 suffering to see this live my point still stands unless you're sick don't don't skip yeah work. don't no. skip anything uh, hello please. hello i am back now oh my lord especially, Hater especially slammer, thank you for the bits hey bosco you ready for opening day of baseball because it's cubs against my brewers for one of the first series love you guys hey congratulations on the bucks by the way being really good if you're from milwaukee no i'm not ready for opening day because i don't know if chris bryant's even going to be there and the cubs are in disarray man do i hope david ross is a good manager but good luck to you guys uh until the season starts, and then I hope you guys are garbage. But until then, good luck. Cryptic Sajin with 100 bits. Thanks to the Unexpectables. Getting me into the D&D mood, I'm in three campaigns. <laughs> Tiefling for life. Good job, Cryptic. Mike, uh, uh, not to take away yes. from everything, but Lazy Red dropped uh, 25 subs uh, while we were playing. So a massive oh, thank you Damn. to Lazy Dang. Red 7971. Seriously, so let's snap for her. Or him. Also, snap, snap, also snap, Alien snap, fan with 200 bits. I wasn't able to say this last time, so I'll say it here. Remy, when he was tiny, I'm three ounces of whoopass. Nice. I'll take it. Oh, I'll absolutely take it. The lesser one, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. That's five months. Good looking up. Somebody said shut up, Bosco. That's a fair point. Uh, Solar Admiral Jr., thank you so much for the bits. Bosco starting a new campaign. Should I make a shadow sorcerer or an inquisitive rogue? Hmm. Um... That really first... depends on your campaign. Yeah. Uh, honestly, if you're going to make an inquisitive rogue, I would highly recommend, especially if your DM is going to be generous with it, try out the Mastermind Rogue. I'm playing one currently on Sundays. They're really interesting. They're not meant for combat, but if you want to be the kind of guy who's more like a Sherlock Holmes and kind of a roguey character, Mastermind is a really underrated rogue class I've... that I think you should check out. I played Inquisitor Rogue. Inquisitor Rogue is good if you're kind of like... Um... I feel like it's kind of the solo rogue. You don't. You can actually get off your sneak attack without allies. You're pretty good at like self, like fighting by yourself in a way. It's kind of more like less. You know, so you come in, you run behind the guy, you stab him. It's more like you fight a guy while your friends are fighting other guys. Um, at least from my experience playing it, that was what uh, Aurora was in the one-off I played. Oh, nice. Played in. Um, yeah. Also, yeah. Really quick, really quick. Uh, real meta with fifteen hundred bits. Task notices your large stature. Task ooh, ooh Colossus Slayer. <laughs> Real oh meet up with a 1,500 bits. 500 bits from the paper bear. Hey, thanks a ton, guys. I had a rough day at work, and knowing this was tonight, help me get through it. Any points, uh, pointers for a new streamer? Play something you care about. Do something you care about. Oh, don't, don't, don't play oh, trends. Play what you give a shit about. Yeah, play, it, you'll, you'll be more charismatic. Oh, sister <laughs> Oh, I see your HP has a fucky wucky. <laughs> Woo, what's Ooh, this? Thank you for hundred bits. Anyway. Uh, lovely, Lady <laughs> Loveless with a thousand bits as well. Am I the only one who has like 20 characters made with no games to play? No. You are not no! the only one. No, 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 no. Life of a goer <laughs> in the oh game. Uh, thank you for the bits. A Protoss 103. Uh, G gibberish 430 as well. And a thousand bits from uh, Glycerius. Mm -mm -mm, rogues are dope. I played a Shadar Kai mastermind. It was literally the king of advantage. Okay. Uh, are we all back, by the way? Yeah, I, I think real so. quick before we start again. Con I, I, Connor, Connor, are you here? Bosco, you're here. Greco, yes. Greco. Uh, Gaijin, Gaijin's I'm here. I'm here. Just, right, just, I'm just so you know, Nadine, a lot of people found out that we're brother and sister after that joke I made. Really? <laughs> well, a lot of people in the A lot of people in chat did not know that, and they found out very quickly. Like, why was that serious? The brother and sister. Oh, that dick talker. Well, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's also why none of the NPCs Oops. hit on Orky. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yes, we are siblings. Sorry. Yeah. We never really sorry. brought it up. Sorry? <laughs> I like yeah. that sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it was like, 
I mean, Nadine, 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 Nadine you said you said the you said the part. You think out loud again. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. All right, you guys good to keep going? I don't sure. know if I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Shush, take your lumps. All right. <laughs> Kay heads in. <laughs> Kay heads into the chamber. Remy, are you following her? Uh, I'm gonna. If she's sneaking around, I'm gonna wait. All right. She kind of looks and kind of gives you just like, come on. Hostrad is also gonna waltz in. Oh. He's gonna look at this table too. Oh. Greckles will immediately look at him. Do not touch anything, Hostrad. We don't know if any of this is in chain. Well, then get, get panic over here then. Hostrad, try not to do any crimes. <laughs> That's all I know. That's all I know. He just kind of shakes his head. Asking me not to breathe. Right there. Right, Borky, Remy, are you staying in the hallway? I am. Borky is. Okay. If they're sneaking around, I know that I don't sneak. Borky will literally take one step at Family Guy flop on a stealth check. I firmly believe that, so he's staying right there. I mean, you could just walk in like Osrod did. Oh, did he just walk in? Well, yeah, yeah, he, he just, just fucking walked oh, in. All right, well, then yeah. never mind, yeah. Oh, I thought we weren't allowed. Okay, Porky shifts in, starts warming his feet, warming his hands by the brazier. It's very warm. Mm. Nice. All right. We all know that there's evocation magic coming out of it, right? Like Panic relayed that uh, that to it's us. Con it's, it's conjuration. It's conjuration. Yeah. conjuration, excuse me. Still. Yeah, still not great. All science is magic if you don't understand it. Uh. <laughs> I mean, that's actually a fair point, though. Anyway. Anywho. Uh, Moni. Mm hmm I, this is gonna sound really dumb, but I want to do it anyway. Can I make an intelligence <laughs> check to see how flammable this stuff is? Uh, sure, go ahead. Would that be intelligence or something Yeah, else? just intelligence. Photo okay. realistically pans up with a lighter. <laughs> Inflammable <laughs> means flammable? What a country! The the parchment might be harder because it's kind of waxy, but I guess it light up like a candle. The paper books would obviously light up, but doing that would be such irreparable damage that I'd question your actual moral alignment. <laughs> it's this wonderful thing called a last minute distraction, just above game. Oh boy, really? This is like the 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 actual like amount of knowledge here that could not be replicated is enough to question your moral like alignment. Just, put it, just putting it out there. That's why I called it a last minute. All right. Uh, or not last minute, last last option, I should say. All right, we should probably start. If if we're not, if we're just gonna like stick around here and try to figure shit out, let's figure out how the fuck we're gonna get her or this barrier around her out of here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to move over here. Get a better look at that chest. All right. As you get over, you sense the same thing. There's a uh, dormant necromancy inside, and the lock has evocation magic on it. Uh, as your senses reach this table, uh, you detect a... What nature would the spell be, actually? Table? Death. The desk. The desk <laughs> oh, to the right, nice. where Greckles is currently hiding underneath. Uh, you detect abjuration on the table, and that orb is rife with divination. Uh, you know exactly what that orb is for and what it does. Mm. That is a scrying orb. Specifically, probably the one he was using, like, all the time. Oh. I wonder if we could contact the sweet dragon. Probably not. Also, the table has abjuration magic on it. I mean, couldn't, couldn't we ask someone from the sweet dragon who could come up here to enter the, the, the temple? No one's guarding it. Except it's in the high district. Uh, what would yeah. be the point? Help out the guards? I don't know. I feel like I'm so out of my depth, Rufio guys. Rufio has that under control. I'm just going to be quiet in a corner and warm my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I bother talking when you're investigating. <laughs> Borky goes to college. Panic. K kind of calls out to you. What? I think there's a conduit powering this alarm spell. Do you see where it goes? I have detect magic and I can't see it. It goes through the floor, so I can't tell, but maybe there's something in this room that sets it off. I'm not sure. 
I'll let you know. I'm, I'm just gonna keep looking. Borky, what? You're good with traps, yes? You know, I think I could even be better. <laughs> right, why, why don't you look for something like a, a, a hidden button or lever or something that I might like, I access can, another part? When traps activates when I'm good at it, Borky's just scratching his head. <sighs> Do you want me just to start slapping stuff? I mean, that sounds like a bad thing. You usually warn me against it. What about you, Greckles? Yeah, what about, about you, Greckles? Me... Above game, I'm trying to help Kurt out, guys. I, I, it's fine. It's Dude, it's fine. Literally, my character doesn't do anything in this. In all this right, scenario. all right. So, <laughs> Monty, yes. I, stealthily, I would, overhearing this conversation, I would to I would like to look for button switches, any sort of, of non-magical ma magical conduits that I could possibly find. All right, roll an investigation check. Okie doke. That's a nat 20. Oh! Nat 20. <laughs> I love you, Mr. Right. Bird. As you are looking around in that area, um, shit, yeah, you'd find it. You find a <laughs> hidden. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you... Hey, after last week, we deserve some good rolls. You don't find a switch. Yeah. But you do find a hidden compartment underneath the desk. The desk I'm currently under? Uh, the desk underneath the orb. Okay, so I'll just come out to here. Okay, it is. Panic. It is locked. Physically locked? It is physically locked, yes. Okay, panic. I, I found something over here that you should probably see. Uh, okay, okay. I will... <laughs> Can the rest of you guys watch our backs? Why I'm here? I'm gonna fight this things. tiny little red Greckles. claw comes out from between the bookshelves with a thumbs up and it goes back. <laughs> in. Nice. Just Greckles pointed out the arcane lock or the uh, the, the lock. Damn, sorry, yeah. broken lock. Yeah, there is a lock on it. This is a very where a lot of the furniture in here, like even the chest, has like human made locks or at least dwarven made locks. The lock on this hidden compartment is definitely abyssal or infernal in nature. All right. It's, it looks mundane in nature. Uh, Panic or Kay, do you sense anything from this? Do I? Uh, you sense no magic from it, but beyond it, you, sec you sense the abjuration. All right, well, yep. let's uh, let's see if Hasrod's tools can work their magic again. I'll that are pretty good. God damn, it scared me. <laughs> he's All actually right. like reading a book at the moment. Oh, so he's physically touching shit, good. Yeah, Wonderful. yeah, he is. Excellent. <laughs> Thieves tools. I'll, I'll keep working this until I crack this thing. Meryl is right there. there. That is. Oh, oh, oh the other net's oh. 20. That was side 16. Mm. You got 16. You needed a 15 to pass. Oh. You unlock it. Uh -huh. It is it basically the, the hole where like you unlock it. There's like a mouth on either side. Mm -hmm. As you unlock it, you hear a noise and it pops open. You get the sense that if you were to fail, the mouth would have closed and broken your thieves tools. Oh, Hosrod would be pissed. Neat. Yep. Uh, but you pop it open, you pull open the drawer, and inside is a journal, a very nice journal. It is latched on one side, and the latch itself has the abjuration magic on it. Okay, I think this is where you might be able to come in. I'm going to pocket that lock. All right, yeah, go ahead. So Kay, one Kay one turns. abyssal lock. Kay turns to you and he goes, what do you sense? Uh, turns to you panicked, by the way. Abjuration. Abjuration, abjuration, what could it be? Potentially, oh, that's gonna be your is Ar arcane. Is arcane, arcane lock, lock abjuration? Arcane lock. lock. That's arcane lock. Um, Why is that a pub K in my brain? <laughs> I think the similar thing is happening over at that chest. I have, I have a knock spell. I could use knock to open it. Yeah, but there's the thing about that one. Huh? It makes a really loud noise when you cast it. Does it? Yeah, that's why they call it knock. It goes like, and he'll he'll like knock on his own knuckles to, but like way louder. Uh, okay. It's the big uh, bed cracking. <laughs> It'd work, but. <laughs> we could dispel magic. I have a few of those left. I have what, two. What, what, what spell level is arcane lock? That's its second level spell. Then 
I have third, uh, third level spell slots. She has two. She has two, two third level spell slots left, but that's her counter spell spell slots that she's pulling. Uh, okay, I, I can, I can just dispel magic. I, I'll dispel magic. Right. On dispel magic and the lock, which almost seemed magnetic in nature, kind of goes slack. And panic, you have access to the Arcanoloft's missive. Ooh. Ooh. Is there any other magic I can sense in the pages or anything? No. It is okay. inbound documents for I, you. I don't want to fucking explode again like the last time we read someone's <laughs> funeral. But I like it when you remember. It says that, that was, I have, that was I a have season one pool. <laughs> that was season one. Holy Ta shit. Ta 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 was. Yeah. Taka. Oh, I got nothing to add. I just, I, I just loved it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'll just, I'll just whisper read it. Uh, word of a comet, fallen in the time before man. It is in the time that the first dragons became mortal, clattered to the earth in eons long past. Fragment of a dead god, or perhaps a memory of one. It held itself into the earth to avoid being plucked by demon, devil, aberration, celestial, and god alike. Afraid to make something new contribute to something already be. My employer, invoking the obedience of a clan of gnolls, led commands by a patron hammer, unearthed such a comet and found another aspect of power. The gnolls worked, digging in the earth, erecting machines to rip it from the rock. When the comet unearthed, he could finally consume it but it never was. This fragment of power, not completely unspent, invoked its god's power for one last weasley attempt. Called a boat, or so the boat came. A heart filled with wonder. Captain Canary. And urge or call long, long forgotten, not a destiny, but its power. L Lysalavast Comet was, is, more than it presents itself to be Lysalavast. Uh, is more than it presents itself to be the largest remain the skull of the dead god consume that and become a god all its own or spring to power a new eon a new plane a new chance of godhood or anything willing to find and consume it the captain came destroyed the gnolls captured and contained the aspect of the employer and built a city around the comet by the time it was risen and bolted to the earth, and its power only grew as the people around it did. Perhaps the god still persists among the mortals, but fades as it does. Anchors of magical alloy and magical pure, celestial miracle tethers it into its place, but it spreads like a disease. Demon, celestial alike, caught in a pull like a boat into a whirlpool. Some escape, other get too close. Not so lucky, frustrated. Escape is plausible, only if ascension is achieved. My employer is gone, in a whimper, in a whisper, a whimper. Pathetic, contract still to fulfill. Nothing to be said if I am the one who benefits. Only a few know of the Lysalavast Comet's true identity. I know it's watching me, like a mouse in its den with a fox on the prowl. Canary knows of it. Perhaps saw of it as a friend. Bronze Fang has made meeting of it, but he denies. And Robso knows of it, but he is denied. A human druid who flocks with peasantry birds may know of it. Wait! Inquiries as this... That's... Is, is that the pigeon man, sir? Yes, that's Taylor, I think. That's Taylor. Inquires as this almond book pusher provides no answer. A contract binds, perhaps. Puppets in all things, and so the mortals praise the celestial. But we all play the same games. My employer's eye scars the sky. And yet no voice reached me. Was I only a side project in the grander scheme of things? They only wanted information. Perhaps they knew I would be locked here, so they themselves wouldn't come too close, 
And now they're as far as they possibly could be. But they've found some facet of power. So who says I cannot find my own? I shall spread and infect this place to find its queen bee and eat it. Four more now, added to the total. Another call, like the boat, this time different. Is it scared? Does it know its time is running out? The city, its body, still functions as it does. I feel its power wane. It's still watching, though. It's watching them. Four fools bumbling like a pack of blind acolytes. Are they for me? Or another purpose? Perhaps more desperate action should be made on my account. Desperation breeds desperation. I'll call for some favors in the coming years. We're on the same schedule, Comet. I will outendure you. Another one rises. In, it steps into the plane of mortal men. This one never fell. It simply became. I am afraid. This one rose from the earth like the primordial phoenix from flame. Where did this one come from? What does this one anchor? It's chained to the comet, like a brother arm in arm. It has spread my curse to others now. It is to weigh down, to keep in place the waning comet's will, and so to us are crushed under its hold, like some cosmic joke. Lysalavast comet is dead or dying, and yet it still persists, but where? Where is it hiding? Why are other aspects helping, rather than finding their own places to hide? Another call, perhaps? How much can it call before it fades? I may be a fool. The four, the orc, the bird, the devil-blooded, and the endangered red kobold. They weren't called. Perhaps they are a call. This must be dealt with immediately, before more anchors appear. These extensions of the comet's will must be denied, or none of us will escape. Godhood may follow. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Jesus. Um. So when they huh? say, Blake just kind of cr- tilts her head. She seems very confused. So like, uh, so like, um, I, I got. I paused at a few key moments there to look at Kay's uh expression. Does she look confused at what I'm saying, or can she not hear what I'm saying? She just seems confused by the contents. She hears what you're saying. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna ask. Is there any part of that that Remy you didn't hear, hear everything, Remy? Oh. Congrats, well. you're a part of this too now, buddy. Oh no. Yay, you're entangled in the whims of gods. Ha <laughs> ha! No. Well. No, they said words in there I didn't want to hear. Who, who has Liza's mask right now? I do. Okay. So when they say four bubbling fools and one of them is an orc. That's us. Then we now He's know. talking about us. How old is, is, so that, is that an old book or a new book? Uh, this might be the Iconolos journal. I really hope it is, otherwise everything you said is a prophecy. Pocket it in your portable hole. Yes. <whistles> As a ma- we need to get that. that right there. I- that right there <laughs> is everything we need. Only Pocket I- that like it's a baby. That explains, Guys. That explains the entire nature of lies. I don't think we should show this to anyone. No, we shouldn't. Ah, shit, we need something why, else. Why not? Yes, that seems this... like it would be exactly the kind of proof you need to prove okay. yourself innocent. I, here's the this thing, is... here's the thing. What Some of the things said in this is some of the things we know about. It would create a too many cooks in the kitchen situation, and some of the cooks are going to have weapons. Basically, what Borky's trying to say is that this is information that could fall into very, very bad hands. Yep. Clearly, there's a lot going on that I don't understand, but let's just focus on the task at hand. Pointing to Mel. Right, 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 right here. And Porky points a task <laughs> in the background. Sorry, he's just like, eh? I wave. <laughs> Damn right, it, let's, let's Let's uh, just put it out of our minds for a minute. K or Panic, do you know if this has any link to that barrier? I, I don't think so. I'll, I'll, be, I'll still be on the lookout for whatever connections this might have. Uh, to the barrier, like uh, the book. No, um, Kay pointed out there was there was something connected to the barrier. So I'll be yeah, looking. Yeah, she gets the sense that it's it's self perpetuating, so it's like ongoing. Damn it, solar powered. <sighs> It'll never run out. But this is a solid stone chamber, so seeing through the walls is basically impossible. It's not like the Romantian where it's kind of like wood stone combo. 
I think the about the only There's thing another. you haven't looked at is the chest, and that's about it, to my knowledge. There's yeah, the Panic will point out the chest. Like, try There's... To mess with the glyph. There's an arcane lock. Also, the the chest itself is displaying some sort of necromancy magic. Necromancy in here. That's what I'm seeing. Ask, did Would you, I? Did you see any notes on the table? Who was that aimed at? Task, because he, he was the one that looked at the table with all the body parts. There uh, were notes, but they weren't legible, at least for you. Yeah, I couldn't, like, yeah, Task just, like, looks over. You can look over for yourself. I couldn't read any of it. Are you suggesting we open this chest? I don't know. Task uh, holds his hand out. And he pulls out Orchestra with his finger over her mouth. <laughs> Shh. She kind of like wriggles out from beneath your finger. You're not supposed to be in here. Yeah, no shit. Tass moves over to the. Uh, uh, Tass doesn't want to leave his position, so he uh, w uh, motions for ta uh, Panic to come over. Uh, I will do that. <laughs> in the, in the I, meantime, I in the meantime, Greckles is gonna uh, hide because boy oh boy, could something pop out at any moment. Okay. I I pretty much just I I tell her that she's now leashed to panic for the time being to help him read the stuff. I'm not supposed to be in here. Yeah, the faster you help us, the faster we can get you out. Okay. What languages do you know? Uh, oh, there's a question. Gonna check in this fantastic book that I have. Is she just an imp? Yeah, so she knows infernal. Uh, and infernal and maybe abyssal. Uh, but she uh, was... I hate to breathe bear of bad news. Task. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, we speak. The... Hmm? And oh no, she knows abyssal. Yeah. Oh. She was a Cambian, and Cambians know Abyssal. So yes, she knows Abyssal as well. Yee Alright. Well, I guess you can handle everything that's Abyssal. Yeah, sure. I got it. You know. <laughs> got it. I've got it. Have you ever been in here before? Or Nope. <laughs> and I'm not supposed to. Oh, well. Remy's going to eyeball this thing. So, Task wanted me to look at this table over yeah, here. Yeah, head right? over here with Orchestra and have her read off anything if it's Abyssal. All right. I'll just fuck. What? Sorry, I I tried to click and drag panic, but um, I, had imp, I, had, I had an imp sheet open as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, she kind of like, like... Almost like a hedgehog being released on a table, kind of skitters around the table in every which direction. Uh, she kind of picks up different papers. She goes, ah, these are just lists of materials for spells. It appears to be. And diamond dust, things like that. Huh. I'm not messing with you, I swear it's true. Put him in the hole. She like just starts dumping everything into the hole. Like just like, like whenever you see someone like kind of slide all their hands, like dog everything <laughs> off, head, starts doing that. But she's so small that it just takes a long time. Sweet, Remy. Right. Bring her back, Panic. Yes, Greckles. Remy, this is too easy. Task. Yeah. As you are standing there and Panic is walking back to you, you hear a voice in your head. No. Oh, uh, good. Task, is it? This is Sionia. I must warn you. Almon clergy leader heading into temple. Task, like, grabs Orchestra and puts her back in his pouch and looks over to panic. The Almon leader's coming back. And they're gonna dimension door. Because Don't! they just discovered their dead companions in the main chamber. Mm -hmm. so, Uh-oh. So. Spaghettios. As you guys are standing there, rifing through things, investigating other things, you hear 
a flash of arcane power. As a fox-faced humanoid creature lands in the center of the room. And I'm gonna find some music here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I had to open my big beak. You did. Wow, it's too easy, he said, and opening guys, a portal to hell. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait not everybody, it's all, too the... easy. Literally, as Greckle oh, said that, it was. This was way too easy. Nothing, nothing was, nothing was trapped. I, I, I just, mm. I, I felt like Monty just upped the difficulty level. Well, there are a lot fine. of things we're, that were trapped. To be fair, you had a certain number of things to do, and then it would have triggered. So uh, it wasn't saying anything. It was literally once you did a certain amount of things, he was there. Because literally, as you guys were talking, shit was going on with him. He was doing stuff, and he was making his way back. And he discovered the Deglibra Zoo. So, he pops into view, immediately sees all of you and kind of sighs and goes, you had to make this hard. Everyone roll initiative for me. Let's go! Oh, good. Oh, trust us, we're gonna go hard. At 13, I'm gonna go mute my phone. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it's making me paranoid. Nope. 19. Uh, in the most yeah, in big old five, boy. Oh, you know what? Uh, Someone pointed out something to us, by the way. Hossrod heard everything. <laughs> yep. 22. And you okay. want to know what's great? What? Hossrod has been wanting you to know what the attic is since he's come to Alavast. Great. I got to imagine, well, imagine he just had... 22. Nice. The one... The fox from Zootopia's eyes when he, when he realizes he's been duped. Oh, uh, Nick. Yeah. Oh, the, the the blank stare going like looking into the they, camera. Yeah, yeah one of the best. Hurting your feelings? No, tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> Just his eyes. <laughs> oh, roll a T. The gang so, knows cosmic schemes. <laughs> so panic. Shit, that was a really good roll for you. Bless you. Bless you. All right, panic. Two. Orky got a 19. I'll take that. Uh, and then Tass got a 13. So now all we have to do is just run up to it and beat the shit out of it before it can cast any spells. Or was that? Oh, no, Greckle's, Greckle's got the 13. Tass yeah. got the 13. My bad. I got a 17, yeah. Yeah. Well, still the right order, so we're good. Reckles. I am fine with being that low on the list. And then Remy. Eh. And then K goes here. And then... Eh. Oh, what's oh, your yeah. dexterity modifier task? Uh, five. It's, yeah, it's, it's on the side. All right, so at the beginning of its turn, the Arcanoloth is going to make a layer action. Oh, oh boy. What? Because you're in its lair. lair. Ah. You're in, within its lair. They don't usually have lair actions, but you're in its fucking house, so it's gonna have lair actions. Uh, Man, I do we have lair that. actions of the sweet dragon? Yeah, the owl bear. <laughs> oh no, we can also <laughs> we can have Scrabbles attack someone from a hole. We can push someone down into the basement, down the flight of stairs. There's a lot all of fun. Right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I haven't. I've never even heard of a lair action. Yeah, they certain enemies nope. have lair actions if you're going into their lair, essentially. Gotcha. It's, it's a it's a fifth ed thing. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll learn one day. So, oh, those, you know the, the, the thing you've been warming your hand up against, Sporky? Yeah. Hold oh, on. no. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. My no ass. one really checked to see why the fire was different. So, you I watch as emerging out comes a Maragon. What's a Maragon? That's the armored guys you've been fighting Go! throughout this entire area. And the second brazier is going to summon something a little bit more fun. Wait a minute. She means the Same. reverse for us when she says that. Mm -hmm. And here I thought it was going to be a fire elemental. You watch as from the other... Is it? Okay, it's medium. Just want to make sure I got the size right. From the other fire emerges a bipedal... Or not bipedal, a quadrupedal beast with armor-plated scales, a leech-like orifice mouth, and a long, thorny tongue that lashes out. 
Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Oh, no, it's the dogs from Resident Evil 4, the movie. No, you don't know what it is. It's much Taka. worse. It is far worse. It's a, it's, it's a kitty Alrighty. weapons. That no. is. No. That is the starting of the lair action. That's okay. It's the only lair action it has, so don't oh, worry about good, it. Oh, good, good. All right. Great. Panic, it is now your turn. <laughs> Basically, uh, in a panic, haha. Uh, <laughs> panic is going to. Oh god. Uh, panic is going to run over here. Okay. He's going to shout, "Spread out!" Uh. And cast at fifth level Shatter right on top of the Arcanalot. Right. Yeah. One second here. Oh, magic things. Uh, he's gonna reaction cast counter spell against you. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So it's a fifth level spell, you said? Yep. That's. Is it a saving throw? It's just an intelligence check, correct? Uh, for counter spell, it is a. I think it's. A arc Actually, I have it right here. Hold on. Hold on. You attempt to interrupt a creature with the process of casting a spell. The creature is casting a spell a third level or lower. Its spell fails and has no effect. Actually, you know what? No, it's not going to cast this because I forgot about something. So yeah, no, it doesn't cast anything. Hey, 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 hey Mom. Okay. I was Make about a to Constitution ask something. Yeah. Okay. How big? How big is the radius of this spell? By the way. Uh, radius of shatter. Uh, I'll be aiming it so that it doesn't hit Borky. Uh, okay. It is ten foot radius. Ten foot radius from doop, him. Doop. Yeah, so Borky's out of it anyway. If I drop it right on top of him, he's out of it. Sorry, twenty foot radius. Yep. Or ten ten foot radius. Ten. Ten foot radius. Okay. So Borky's out okay. of it. Okay. Go ahead and roll the damage. Hey, Monty, is it possible you can counter spell? Counter spell? Yeah, I was you cannot. That. No, you cannot. We've. I think I've had this discussion before. Okay. You can counterspell a counterspell if you're not counterspelling. You haven't. Your spell while if, you're casting a spell. Okay. So here's how it yeah. works. If if someone yeah, is if, if someone basically is, if if someone is counterspelling someone, another person can counterspell. Ah. The same person can't. That's that's mm, the way. Right. It works. Okay. All right, yeah. all right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I. It's. I, it's it's complicated it's, and weird, and I yeah. just remember it being a thing in, in Critical Role. But anyway, so, so he needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Okay. Which? Goddamn Kitsune. All right. Roll. Roll. In the damage was. Uh, damage is. Hang on. Uh, Shatter. Thunder. God. God. Thunder, uh, <laughs> 34 thunder damage. As you hit him, he just disappears. No. Just gone. No, I disagree. <laughs> Did I pop him? What? <laughs> Bonus action. Mantle of inspiration. One second, I just gotta read something super fast here. You might have an anime breath sound effect Nani happening. I'm sorry, you, you gotta. <laughs> that, that's that's a big Nani right there. That's a big Nani, like you. So. Sh oh, never mind. You do hit him. Yay! Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna attempt to counter spell. Sorry, I'm just reading one of the spells he used. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. For context, he tried to cast mislead. Yeah. And, okay. But he's still occupying the same space, so technically he's standing there. So yes, he's gonna attempt to counter spell. <laughs> so that's gonna, be, that's gonna be a fifteen. That you you cast at fifth level. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's a natural twenty. So that's gonna oh, be. I no, hate that. No. Oh, that was that was the worst. That was the yeah, worst. <laughs> Couldn't you just give Sorry. it to me? Mighty incarnate. That was, that Sorry. was, that was, what? Oh, man. All right. Connor, give me a hug. Come over here, man. Let's get it. Come here. Come here. Okay, here we go. There We're all good. Uh, for my bonus action, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to fucking cast Mantle of, I'm going to use a, 
Spark Inspiration to cast Mantle of Inspiration. Not cast, but use Mantle of Inspiration. Uh, okay. so... Uh... Hasrod. K. Hey, uh, Greckles. Remy, and... I don't think Task is close enough. Yeah, he's just out of reach, so... Um... Actually, I could I could move back because I only use twenty five. Okay. I'll move back one, and then I'll use Mantle of Inspiration, so it'll catch Hasrod, K, Greckles, Remy, and Task. Okay. In it because it's up to my charisma modifier. Uh, you all get eight temporary hit points. You can use a reaction to move. I highly suggest you do that. K is not going to move because uh, she wants to save her reaction for counterspell. Mm -hmm. okay. If I'm, do they, okay, Monty, question. Do they see me or am I behind the book? They have true sight. They see you. Oh, well, Bor fuck me. Borky, they, can, they can see through solid matter? Bor yeah. Borky's yeah. all like, am I a wow. to you? All right, then I'm moving over here. <laughs> we have a uh, 120 Rickles, foot you... true sight, but they're also extremely perceptive as well. So I'm in, right. it's their house. It's their fucking house, Greckles. <laughs> it's their house, Greckles. Uh, I'll, you know what? I'm going to stay where I am because I'd like to see my minimize damage. Okay. Uh, does Hasrod move? Hasrod, yes, is going to move. Hasrod where? actually moves right next to Meryl. Good, 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 Because, good, good. fuck it, it's an alarm, and if he's already here, there's no point. Yep. Yep, so attaboy. Hasrod, Hasrod runs over here. And I'm going to do He gets vaporized. <laughs> he disappears. I don't feel so good, Mr. <laughs> Panic. <laughs> <laughs> out. That's my turn. Alright. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. Borky, like the George Lucas meme going up to J.J. Abrams just steps. <laughs> <laughs> Borky is just and Borky's gonna go into the first time ever a third frenzied rage on one day. An orky right. rage. Okay. Don't forget your movement is halved. Can you make it with your halved movement? You have 20 feet, so I think you're fine. Yes, I'm fine. Oh, yeah. I was, okay. I was, yeah, I was luckily was with, I was within 10. Get so. him, baby. So what are my limitations at two points of exhaustion? Again, just for a quick reminder for myself and everybody. Your movement is halved and your ability checks at disadvantage. Okay. But, all right, Borky's going to go into a frenzied rage. And so next turn, I'll have the extra attack. I'm remembering. I'm remembering how yeah, to play yeah. my damn. I'm so proud, proud of you. Proud. I am. Hey, hey! I just discovered I can dodge every hit I've ever taken. So you know, we all learn a lot. Uh, mm. you're, you're doing all right. Yes. Not quite dodge. But you're doing all right. And Borky swings, and that is a soft twenty. That'll hit, and he uses reaction too for counterspell. Eleven yep. plus three, fourteen points of damage. Fourteen points of a friggin'. Oh, that's easy. There you go. Perfect. All right. Borky swings with his second <laughs> attack. Borky not skipping a beat immediately. Borky hates this guy. And it's a play with that natural 20! Let's go! Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, god. I swear, banish him. Banish him. Huh? Oh no. Huh? Banish him from the oh my god, games. Holy shit, I didn't think I was getting a nat 20. Okay, okay. Yes. He has he has to make a saving throw against the banishment first. Okay, hold on, everyone! Oh. Everyone! He has Don't to beat panic. a 15. He has to beat a 15, but he has advantage on this. Gregory is up point. wondering what's wrong. Okay, it's okay, buddy. It's yeah. okay. He got a 23, so he, see, so he doesn't get banished, but you still get a crit on him, so go ahead and roll damage. So oh, vertical. 12 plus 7. That's going to be plus 22. Three. Plus and like, 3. And then a, roll, an additional, roll an additional 2d6 for me. Come on. That, that was 1. There we go. 4, four 8. eight. That's 30 points of damage to him. Yeah! Damn. Boom! Like a like a freaking grenade going off when Borky hits fucking... him with a sword. Talk, and now the J.J. Abrams, it's like poetry, it rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> no, what has happened essentially is Borky has just done a Dragon Ball Z-style move, and now the cult smoke is drifting away. Like, yeah, he did it! Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Alrighty. That ends your turn, Borky? Yes, it is. Oh, that would bring Ask. up... Uh, uh, that, by the way, guys, that was the brutal critical. Just everyone yes, mm -hmm. yeah, you rolled yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Task, it is now your turn. All right, well, I'm going to shoot this dick. All right. Uh, silver arrows, by the way. Huh? Oh, by the way, Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark him. All right. Whoop. Whoop. All right, arrow, fly through. A 19. 19, that hits. Awesome. Arrow. So that plus Hunter's Mark plus Colossus Slayer. Let's 
Let's go. Um, seven plus uh, 1d8 and 1d6. Oh, eight. wow. Nine, wow. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. Guys. 13. Mm. And that's one shot, by the way. One second, let me just calculate this real fast. Fuck this stupid well, fox. Real quick, <laughs> uh, real, real quick, after your turn, I, I, I unfortunately need to go back to mine. I think I might have made a mistake. But I'll look at What do you mean? Uh, what Bruno, What did you do? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I don't mean to take away from what you're doing here. Brutal Critical, um, ninth level, you roll one additional weapon damage die when determining the extra damage for a critical hit with a yeah. melee attack. Okay. You, you, you did. did that. Oh, you did oh my god, already. I'm so sorry. Great sword is 2d6. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm rubbing my eyes. I'm sorry. Continue on. Yeah, you're good. You're Gucci. All right, solid source of damage. You've definitely hurt this fox. Hunt one's bigger than you before! Uh-oh. 16. <sighs> Misses. Ooh. As you aim and shoot, you struck him once in the shoulder and he deflects it with a magic, kind of a magic flourish. And he goes, not quite. It really is a shame you are an endangered species and I'm about to make it so much more so. Uh, uh, he's gonna cast. Us, then. He's gonna cast chain lightning. Oh! Uh, so many targets as three other targets. Oh, so this is its actual turn. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. It is on its turn. Okay. It is its turn. Because right the lair action, I'm assuming, was like a reactionary thing. That was its start of the combat. It gets to summon shit. Essentially, gotcha. Just reaction. checking. Cool. Because you're in its house where it has things that summon shit. No, so. it, makes, it makes perfect sense. I was just double checking if you're in its house, house. Remy. Right, oh, right, shit. We must Let's... protect this house. We must okay. protect this house. Great. Couple of the lightning. So it hits four people of its choice. So we're going to go. <laughs> One, two, three. Actually. Yeah, it wants the hostage. So. One, two, three. Four. Okay. Kay is gonna attempt to counter spell Sweetie. This. Sweetie pie. She has to beat a 16 though. That's not horrible. It's not horrible. She's got a plus four to intelligence. Come on, Kay, we get you got this. 12 that's, or higher. That's not gonna do it. That's that's seven. No. Oh, mm. He uh, arts. Uh Hosrod, Remy, Panic, and Greckles. I need you all to make a dexterity saving throw Ooh, for me. Oh, I'm good at this. Uh, <sighs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Dex save for panic is 22. 22. Nin 19. Not bad. Nine. Nine. Alrighty. Oh no, Remy dodged the wrong way. It's fine. This is what I'm here for. Dodged into it. <laughs> all right. Anybody who succeeded takes. One second. I'm just. What's the success? The success. Uh, if you succeed it, you take 20... One second. Uh, but what's what's the DC? <laughs> oh, the DC. We don't know if we made it or not. Uh, only... Only Remy failed. Oh, and Hasra has to roll too. One second. Yeah, I was about to say, what about Hasra? 11 does not do it. Hasra actually succeeds. He's nice. got a decent Woo. dex. Fucking... It's a slippery snake boy. Um, so... One second, I'm just trying to do math. I'm super duper fast in my head. Real fast. Uh... Anyone who succeeded takes 27 points of lightning damage. Ow. Oh. Uh, I gotta check Hasra to see if he's still alive. He might need to use that potion for himself. Uh, Hasra is still alive. Yes. Woo! Good man. Good man. With nine HP, he is still alive. Nice. Uh, anyone who failed takes 54 points of lightning damage. Oh. So Remy, you take 54 points of lightning damage, and that's another one of K's spell slots. Oh, Greckles is gonna dab because of evasion. <laughs> All right. I don't take squad. <laughs> the enemy's turn. This Meriloth walks next to the Arcanoloth. Uh oh. And stands in front of you, Borky. Like puts the the glaive in front of you, and you're just like looking up towards it. Uh. Oh, I see how it is. I'm gonna assume the thing does a little kissy too. What was that? Oh, I'm gonna fight you. Uh, the Tanaloth has a very nice movement speed, sees the weakened Remy, and is gonna go fucking charging towards you. Oh no! <laughs> Let's see. Come on, 
one, baby. It's gonna make a ton. It's gonna make a ton attack against you. Ow. Right? With that spiked, almost whip-like tongue. That's definitely gonna fucking hit. That is a twenty-five. That hits. Uh, I take two d twelve. Hey, what? <laughs> Jesus, crimity. Uh, you take 18 points of piercing damage. Fucking damn, all right. And you are now grappled. Okay. Ooh. Uh, it is going to make two claw attacks with you in tow. So it's going to move. It's going to move towards Hasrat and aim a claw attack. You said how many you. did I take on that last one? Uh, you took 18 points of damage. Uh, it is uh, piercing damage. Okay. Uh, it's going to make an attack towards Hasrod with a claw. Uh, that is going to definitely hit Hasrod. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> uh, 2d10. Uh, yeah, he is down. Hasrod is slashed at and is unconscious. And the Cantaloth is going to make a second attack towards Hasrod for two failed death saving throws. Oh, God. Wow. While it I'm just starts. Around? Yeah, it's got you in its mouth. It just takes its claw and starts just raking down on Hasrod, like trampling him and just shredding him. You just see blood and scales erupting as Hasrod is just trying to get towards Meryl. The Maragon is going to swing towards you, Borky. Alrighty, come on. Bring it on. Ow. Fucking scary. It's fun. Mm. Fuck chain lightning. Jesus can I, Christ. Can I just say real fast that the Cataloths were in your guys' fucking basement? There are two of them down there. I fucking uh, knew Jesus. it! God damn it! Borky wasn't kidding when he pitched that. <laughs> there might be in the basement. Uh, no! Nah. Fuck. Borky, I'm assuming a uh, 22 hits you, correct? <laughs> yes. Okay. Sorry. No, no, it's just, just. I, ever since you lowered my AC, I'm like, you should know, you made it a new number. <laughs> uh, that is going to be seven points of slashing damage, cut down to three for you. Woo! I'll take it. And it's going to make a second swing, uh, which is going to be a seventeen to hit you. It does hit me. Okay. Uh, that is going to be ten points of slashing damage, cut down to five for you. Alrighty, thank you very much. Okay. That ends the enemy's turn. Uh, it is now Greffles. It is now your turn. Mm -mm. Decisions, decisions. Um. <sighs> All right. Well, damn. Seeing Remy getting so bloodied up, Greffles is gonna just run on over, but not dash run on over behind this this abomination of mouth and, and tongue, uh, draw the sun blade and give it a good old crescent slash. Okay. So let's see here. I just need to check with sneak attack because he is technically grappled, but I just don't know. Uh, 26 plus two, 28 to hit. Need to hit. Technically you are not flanking because he is grappled. Wait, it's grappled or is grappled? Remy, Remy, I'm grappled, Remy is I Remy is here. grappled. Oh, so you okay, 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 have, okay, yeah. okay. My bad, my bad. Okay, so twenty six. Give me one second. I'm just gonna check sneak attack and just see. Uh, oh yeah, that would actually matter a whole lot. Yeah. At this point, whether or not that works, because I assume that it would be focused on those two when I would have gone for its backs. I'm just checking to see what incapacitated. Okay, so yes, no, you, you still get sneak attack. attack okay. You still get sneak attack, but you will not get the plus two for flanking because he's technically grappled, and I'm gonna say that doesn't make sense to me. So that's fine. That's fine. It's still yeah. twenty six to hit. Twenty six to hit. That does hit. All right. So that is nine radiant plus. Let me get my five d six. Yeehaw. Another Detect. thirteen. Okay. That's thirteen. That's plus nine. That's gonna be twenty two. Twenty two radiant to its butt. One second. Let me just check it. I have so many books out right now. Holy shit. Oh, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. what are you? Magical attacks. Okay, so that's going to be 20 at 22 points of damage to it. You strike into it. This kind of weird, open, sort of screaming yell emits from its mouth. 
Uh, but it is heavily armored and it seems to take the blow in strides. Okay. I've got 20 feet left, so let's go just to the north up top here. Okay. And that is turn. Alrighty, it is now Kay's turn. Kay sees all of you guys get messed up and she looks towards you, Pen, and goes, Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry! She seems to be kind of panicking at the moment. going to uh, she does not like that thing attacking Remy at the moment it's okay hang in there KK. you got this. no one likes you Goloths. no they're fucking annoying as hell uh, she's going to cast magic missile at second level that's going to mean four darts four Plus 13. 13 points of damage, of force damage towards this creature as it is battered with flying darts. As Kay thrusts out this attack, the Arconoloth turns and sees her now. He didn't notice her behind the desk and goes, You are supposed to be dead! Uh, that brings us, Remy, it is now your turn. You are grappled. Oh, but I can still attack and bash it and do all this crazy stuff. You can grapple, right? still attack. Yes, your movement is just your movement is zero at the moment. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna swing twice at this thing. Uh, okay. sixteen. Uh, sixteen, just hits. Cool. Woo. Take Woo. it. Eight. Eight points of and damage. That's blade, so I get my D8. Where is it? Fucking. There we go. So plus three. Uh, if it three. moves, it takes an additional D8, and then I hit it again. So it takes three, an additional three points of damage? Yeah, and then if it moves again willingly, it'll take another D8. All right. Uh, and then I hit it again. 13 is probably going to miss. Miss. If you hit it in, like, the forehead, but it's, like, armored. Okay. And then who's looking at Remy right now, just character-wise, PCs? Uh, definitely K, for sure. Okay. Uh, and Hossrod is dead and bleeding on the ground. <laughs> uh, Greckles right. would be looking at you because he can't. To, to, to help you. Uh, you will all see, because uh, it's a bonus action to administer a, a potion, right? Yeah. You will all see Remy pull out a potion. He will look this Arcanaloth dead in the eye, and then he'll look down at Hasrod. I said, don't die easy. And he's going to give it to Hasrod. Oh, Hasrod is guy. dead on the ground, so you are grappled technically. Yeah. He's just going to pour it out, basically, because he just has to hit him, right? No, you have to put it in his mouth. He has to drink mm -hmm. it. He has to, you have to physically feed it to him. Oh, uh, well, damn it. That was going to So be cool. that's right. not going to work, unfortunately. Then I'm going to shield grapple. bash him with my bonus action. Okay, that'll work. Uh, which should be, so he has to make either athletics or uh, acrobatics of his choice he contested by. He's going to make athletics. 21 is the DC. Uh, what happens if it's a tie? I think I. Cause Attacker wins. Yeah, Attacker I, wins. Yeah, just like with okay. AC. Then yeah, that it succeeds. He rolled a twenty-one. Cool. Uh, I am gonna knock it prone. Okay, you bash this thing in the head, and you guys watch as you know Remy is being wrestled by this thing, and he's being kind of sucked into its body, and it's kind of chewing at your chest, and you're just bashing this thing, and it kind of like flips over on its side and kicks like a dog, and scrambles back to its leg, but gets knocked back down again. It's like a full-on wrestling match between the two of you. Oh God, does that break its grapple by knocking it prone? Nope. Okay. Ooh, actually, that's a question there. I don't think so. That would be that would be your call because there's not really a rule for that. I don't think so. I think okay. he just falls over. No worries. And then that, still get, that'll be turned. Still getting uh, pung. Yeah. Anybody who attacks him though has advantage while he's prone. A prone creature only movement option is to crawl unless it stands up and thereby ends the condition. The creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. An attack roll against the creature has advantage if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. Otherwise, the attack roll has disadvantage. Correct. So technically, no. You are still in your grapple. You're not. All right. Your sweet. Grapple. Sounds good to me. That'll Alrighty. be turned. It is now Hasrod's turn. Oh, wait, no. No, no. Didn't Hasrod, when, I don't have it listed. When did Hasrod go? He didn't. He didn't, he didn't go, that's he right. He got attacked, like, instantly. He moved, so yeah, then he is after Remy. That's right, okay. Oh, so last death saving throw then. Shit. Potentially, he's gotta succeed. So he's gotta roll above a 10. Come on, Snake. 19, he's got Whoa, one success. Oh, he's stable. Ooh. Not stable, he's still making throws. He's, He's just, just gonna make two more. He didn't fucking die, is the difference. Ah! 
Uh, Remy, can he Remy speak on his turn? Is that something he can do? That's a free action. You can only say one sentence. You can't say more than okay. that. Someone get Hasrod a potion! And it. It is now your turn. I'm sorry. I just had butted my microphone in excitement. <laughs> uh, okay. I feel now is as good a time to use this as any. Uh, after that shenanigans, uh, let me just get some stuff. Right, so, uh, the people who got hit with chain lightning were myself, Remy, Hasrod, and Kay, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, Kay did not get hit. It was, it was Greckles. Ah, but you don't, okay. but you fit, you actually do not see anything charred on him. You would see that. Yeah, he seems unscathed. Uh, okay, uh, I'm making a choice here, and I am choosing Borky. Uh, I am going to, uh, it's an action to use a spell scroll, correct? It is, yes. It takes an action to use it. I am going to whip out the scroll of mass cure wounds, and I'm going to heal, um, Hasrod, first of all. Okay. Remy, myself, Orky, and Kay, and Meryl, if she's hurt. Okay. That's six. Kay actually needs some hit points, so... Thumbs up. What do we got? Go ahead, uh, go ahead and roll for 3d8 plus my spellcasting modifier. So 3d8 plus five. Uh, is gonna be all of you heal. Yeah! Good roll! Oh, thank oh God. my goodness! Good That was roll, huge! I also heal this. Alrighty, Hostra is Sexy. back up. He's awake, he is prone though, because he is out, but he is, he is back up. Meryl is still- Jeez, it! <laughs> Meryl is still unconscious though. She is under a spell effect, so unfortunately she is still okay. asleep. Uh... Oh God! <laughs> Do you have movement left? Last, <laughs> last use of my. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fucking stay right between the two of you. You get flanking. Bless you. Bless you. Um, so you're not. You wouldn't get flanked, bro. Cause I tried that. I would get it, but he wouldn't. It's if prone. Busts it's prone. Down. So, it doesn't well, matter because Remy's still getting is still correct. Being so I, if I hit it, I have advantage be, or the plus two because Panic is on the other side. I'm not considered on the other side if he attacks it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, with that, I am going to once again. Oh God. Uh, I guess I just have to. I guess I just have to do this since there's a lot of damage being thrown out. I'm gonna use my last Bardic Inspiration. To once again activate Mantle of Inspiration. Oh my goodness. Remy, Hasrod, Borky, Greckles, uh, Meryl. <laughs> we'll all okay. get eight temporary hit points. She okay. rolls over. She sleepwalks. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. She has literally Kay one HP. <laughs> oh my oh god. god. <laughs> Kay already has temporary she hit does. points. That was yeah. after the lightning, though. She, right, didn't um, she didn't get hit by lightning. Yeah, she didn't get hit. Borky. Uh, Borky's, all right. Borky's gonna and that will be my turn. All righty. Borky, is, it is, is now your turn. Yeah. Is that the hit point movement one or? Okay. Yeah. That's you the guys can move as well, yeah. So shouldn't Hasra be able to stand back up? Yeah, Hasra's gonna get back up and he's actually gonna grab Meryl. Uh, good, would good, you good. allow Remy to, since he can't move, just attempt to break free of the grapple with that? You board? have to do that as an action, not a movement action, gotcha. unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, as being grappled, you're, you're, unfortunately, your movement is zero. Uh, how much? I can only move 20. Damn. Right. Um, yeah, you can only move 20 feet. All right, so Borky is essentially going to stay still. But Borky right. is, down his uh, weapon was blocked by the baby, baby face McGee. So Borky looks at that baby face, remembers all the baby faces he killed today. <laughs> and he's feeling a little reckless. So Borky okay. swings with a reckless attack at the baby face. 
All right, so they all have advantage. 22. That hits. 10 plus three. Okay, that's gonna be 13 points of damage. One second, let me just calculate that real fast. No worries. Okay, this one seems bigger and meatier than the other ones, by the way. Oh, does he? That's great. Borky hits him even harder then. Oh, geez. it's a revised stage. 25. You actually did. One second. 25, that does hit. Go ahead. Nine plus three, 12. 12 points of damage. Oh, that makes the math so much easier. That's gonna be... One second, sorry, math. All right, so bring us that much. Borky Alrighty. is yes. Borky is thinking about baby nut. That's why he's so mad. <laughs> oh. And oh. one more hit, I and that is a too. twenty-one. <laughs> All right, that one hits as well. And that is a beautiful 12, 15 points of damage. Fifteen points of damage. One second, let me just calculate that super fast. Beep, 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 beep. It's gonna, wow, yeah, sizable chunk to him. Yeah, Porky's just like, just hey. smacking him with metal. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, Alrighty, Task, it is now your turn. Let's move over this way so I have better aim and shoot Fox Face McAss- Uh, Fox Face McAsshole. Alright, he is going to reaction cast shield on himself. Alright. So he gets a plus five then, yeah? He gets a plus five to his AC, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, that fucks his uh, reaction though, so that's good. 15. That misses, unfortunately. Okay, second shot. The shield. Second shot. Oh, balls. Look at that 30 on the other side. 13. I know. Misses, unfortunately. All right, roll 20. I need you to work with me. Does the shield persist through multiple attacks? It does. It lasts, it does. Until, uh, it lasts until it comes back around. Gotcha. But I, once good. again, I did fuck his reaction up. Yep. You did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a reason I love that spell. Uh, that's it for me, unfortunately. It is now his turn. He turns towards K. No. He lifts his finger. No. He's Fuck. He's going to cast Finger of Death. No. On oh Jesus. What? That would kill. <laughs> oh no. But K has one more counter spell, and Fuck. she's going to attempt to counter spell oh, it. My God. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. So just for context. This is probably going to instantly kill her if it hits. If it hits. If it hits. If she can't counterspell this shit. Okay. So it's, she has a plus four. She has to be the 17. Jesus. Come on. Come on, baby. So she needs, what, a 16? That's cocked. That was cocked. Oh, God. Ah. That is a 19. Oh, oh so Okay. Time almost stops as you watch the Arconoloth bring in his finger and point it towards Kay. And Kay, stern face, like this, this girl's been very nervous this entire time, immediately calms down, stares him down, and you watch as she like catches the bolt that comes from his finger and holds it, brings it into herself and then holds it. And the look on the Arconoloth's face. You know in, in One Piece when the lightning guy and the lightning <laughs> god dude yeah! like, no. opens his mouth? That's what Kay just did. It's the great. It, Holy she just, she shit. just, she just Kylo rent him. <laughs> no, That's no, the even. Level slot I, 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 I thought that was eighth level. I, I, I want to okay. know that is the perfect metaphor for what just happened. Oh I think God. that is the greatest panel that in One Piece almost... history. For for context, for how much that, damage that does. It's like eighty six. It, it's finger like seventy eight plus thirty necrotic yeah. or something. It does seventy eight plus thirty necrotic yep. damage, and if a humanoid is killed, they come back as a zombie. Which means oh, it works yeah. for him. Yeah. So that was the Arcanoloth's turn, but he's got his bonus action, so he's gonna drink a potion. Dick. I smack it out of his hand. <laughs> like Gumby. Reaction. No, like Man. Gumby. Just boom. How dare you? Seven. I thought you could do anything in this game. The man, the land of make believe. Dude, I'm on the edge of my goddamn seat. Gregor's so worked up now because I was like, Gregor can tell that you're anxious because the stakes are high. No, maybe, right, and also we'll there might the be stake. Uh, that ends his turn, uh, but it is still the enemy's turn. The babyface MacGuffins uh, is going to swing towards you again, Borky. Oh no, he, he has advantage because of no. reckless attack. He does. Uh, Your and take. good thing he did, uh, cause that is going to be, sorry, it's gonna grab my book here. 
That is definitely gonna fucking hit because it's a twenty-five. That's gonna hit you. Yes. The number of times where I'm like, man, if I just had one more. I know, right? You take eleven points of slashing damage, cut down to five. Yay. I can't believe. Kate's what do you like, say? That's half, bro. Come. Uh, I'm. I'm vision. <laughs> That's gonna be a natural twenty with the advantage. Oh, so. oh, it's just it's that. Oh, it, no. The pendulum, the pendulum swings. That's the way the news goes. Mm. Yep. Um, it's gonna be twenty-two points of damage, cut down to eleven. Oh, thank Christ! <laughs> the most of that is eaten by your temporary hit points. Not all of it. The first hit took a lot of that. Alrighty. Thank you. I love. And Sorry. The Canaloth's turn. No. It's over. He just went. No, it's no, the baby turn. face guy. Cano oh no, tongue boy. You're getting all tongue your boy. Oh, oh tongue you're boy. getting all your it's, long. It's Kanaloth, not our. It's it's not it's, it's not it's not, it's not Kazakhstan. It's Uzbekistan. So you're getting all your. Stay <laughs> Damn it, wizards! <laughs> Name your monsters better. Already <laughs> getting your it's stands wrong. Nope. It is going to it's going to go for a bite attack on you, Remy, because you are grappled with it. Okay. Nom, nom, nom. Hang, 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 hang. You better. Uh, that is going to be a 17. That'll miss. That's going to miss. All right. Then it's going to go for. Uh, oh. Hold Not on. Broken. Well, he still would have been unconscious. I'm sorry. I misread. He actually doesn't have three attacks. He only has two. Oh. I just misread it because it has this, that, and this other one. So technically, Hossard would still be unconscious. So you still revived it, him, which is good. Fine. Yeah. But, okay. He wouldn't have died if, if he had failed. Uh, right. But it's going to go for a claw attack on ooh, Hasrod or Panic or Remy. I'm going to roll a die and see what he picks because he's how? not the most intelligent. I was about to say, how smart are these things? Yeah, it's he's going to go for you, Panic. Big dumb. Uh, that'll provoke from me, though. Do not. It? Provoke what? Uh, Do you have exactly. Sentinel? It does because we're engaged. Oh, right, not 3.5. Oh. No, you're not 3.5. Ah, sorry, we're, buddy. We're, we're, yep. Uh, yeah, I got. Oh. Panic! Does a twenty-one hit you? Oh Jesus! Does it ever? <laughs> Welcome to being level nine. It's fine uh, though. Think... Oh, wait till I'm level eleven, then I can hit two fucking characters at once with one arrow. When I'm a bird. Oh, take... Welcome you to tanking, take... Panic. You, you take ten points of slashing damage. Oh. Ow! And that that could have been worse. It's turn. Fuck! Guys, let's you know what studio? Can I can I just describe something right now? You know, in the Studio Ghibli movie, when like a character like gets all ruffled, like the hair kind of rises up, like they're yes. angry. That is currently the way the Arcana looks right now. He is extremely pissed off. Oh, he is. He, oh, oh fuck it, who? Oh no, does he also look like an old lady? <laughs> <laughs> looks sagely, but yeah. All righty. Every movie. What is the part that he slimes up like in Howl's Moving Castle? Oh God. Freckles, it is now your turn. All right, seeing this horrible necrotic bolt of death coming from uh, this this goddamn Kitsune uh, attacking his friend, let's see how I can do this. Bonus action dash, 20, 50. I'll have 30 left to work with. Let's skate. Let's go see what the fox says with the sun blade. Yep, 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 All right. yep, 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 yep. Yeehaw. <laughs> his shield is down. That's a Son of a God. bitch. Damn it to hell. <sighs> uh, fuck, I rolled 19 severity. Son of a boy, howdy. Damage. Boy, howdy. Ain't that just the luck? He deflects it with just a magical kind of spark, and he turns down to you and says, Oh, it's such a funny little mockery, those blades mass produced. They really, truly have lost their honor, haven't they? Laugh at this, and I'm just going to stab him with the silvered um, short sword that I have. Okay. That's a 17 plus 2, 19. 17 plus 2, 19. Uh... Yeah, he's going to shield again. No, he used it. Ah, I think right. he already used it. Yeah, you... But it, it came around it came to his turn. Oh, for fuck's sake. Every time it's a reaction. Yeah. Oh, fuck it's a reaction, right. yeah. Oh, jeez and crap. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. Okay, here's the thing. He's bleeding first levels, and he's also bleeding reaction. He and, is. And all, yeah, and that he cannot do counter spells with his reaction gone. You just helped us. Yep. All right. Is the oh, blade is the blade fuck. still in? Hang on. Is the blade still in my hand, or is it across? Ah. The, 
no, but he knows what the blade is, and something about that rubs you the wrong way. There's something there. You're not sure what it is. Oh, can I insight that real quick? Absolutely. That's very interesting, because they may be in cahoots. Yeah. Uh, hey, Monty, while he's insighting, could could I retroactively use my reaction to Hell's Rebuke? No, you have to call it when 21. it happens. You can't delay. Fuck. I'm sorry. I, I had it in my... I know, you're all right. I 20, had it 21, 21 to that. 21 insight. You get the sense he knows a lot about you. Oh, okay. Well, interesting. All right, well, I got 30 feet left, of, but I still have I still have weapon, yes? You do, yes. You still have it in your hand, but it definitely misses. All right. Weapon. Thank you. I am going to get behind that their table. All right. Yeah. It is now Kay's turn. Kay is like, you know that gif of the guy who wins like the big, like uh, the price is right. He's like kind of like confused, like, oh, 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 like as he's won. <laughs> That's her. <laughs> da -da -da. Nice. Uh, she is so spent. She's got nothing. Throw the fireball. She's got one second level slot and she's got a charge because she counterspelled fucking finger of death. So she's going to cast uh, her last magic missile at this creature, because it seems to be the biggest threat to her at the moment. And not the dude who cast it just kill you and put his finger? Remy's <laughs> dying, so she <laughs> took it No, it's fine. I cast four. Fuck you. <laughs> four. She just rolled two fours. Nice. Eleven, and then... Ten plus... 17 plus 3 because of the charge. That's 20 points of force damage. Good. To this thing. Also, I swear to God, I'm going to invent a way to keep that sword falling out of my hand, like with a chain Welcome or something. Welcome to my, my old friend who played a character, the Halberd. That was everything he did was just for that. Um, alrighty. That ends Kay's turn. Kay is going to back the fuck away because she's like, back, I'm, back, I'm back done. She literally, as she runs, she turns, she kind of goes, I'm spent! And she runs over to the chest. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, what? Lady. Don't go in the necrotic chest, please. Remy, she's not touching it. She's just going near it. Oh, my uh, God. Remy, it is now your turn. Hitting this thing twice. First one's booming blade. Here we go. All right. 21. 21 hits. Woo. Thank God. 11 plus on three. So 14 total. 13 total. All right. One second. Let me just do math here. Okay. All right. And then here comes the second swing. 12. Miss, unfortunately. Plus two. Uh, shield bash. Plus two. Oh, Plus two. He's not, he's, not he's not benefiting from flanking because he's grappled. So that's the way I'm, uh, uh, that's the way I'm calling it for that. Right. Makes no sense. Okay. 12. Right. So no. Yeah. All right. So okay. the shield no. bash. So give me right. a uh, check of a thing. Athletics. Is... All down Five. again. Five. Five. Did it ever stand up in the first place? <laughs> Oh, it would have on its turn, yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, I didn't. I didn't put a mark on it. Got it it. would have. It absolutely would have. Does that take one of its actions to do that? No, no it, it takes, just takes some movement. of its movement. It takes which it never left. Uh, that's gonna be a fourteen, unfortunately. Fuck. Uh, yeah, I should have marked. I would have gotten head. it if I had a advantage. Fuck me. Oh, All right, that's my turn. A, you should have a grapple mark on you. There we go. Uh, uh, for just narr narratively, I'm gonna be like throwing my body at this thing, and I'm gonna turn back to Hostrod. Hostrod, go! All right, Hosrod's turn. Hosrod grabs Meryl, pulls open the scroll, says the incantation, and you watch as the Canelaw flashes no. and recess, and the spell does not work. Uh, he has no reactions. Yeah. No, it just doesn't He's work. He's shielded. No, huh? the oh, Canelaw, just... not the Arcana Loth, the Cano Loth oh. flashes. And you watch as Hosrod like, shakes the, the scroll and goes, ha, ah, it's not working! Goddamn uh, names. He is going to grab Meryl and he is going to run 15 feet. He's going to okay. provoke an attack of opportunity from the Kinaloth, but he's taking Meryl with him. Mm -mm. It's going to go for a claw attack. That's a natural one. Nice. Wow. I'm going to roll oh, severity. Oh, oh my please God. let us hit it. Please let us hit it. Uh, mid severity. So I'm going to say it misses. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to say it misses. Okay. I don't see any benefit else I could give. As Hassard runs, he just starts like waving, like when a computer's broken, he just starts smacking it against the ground. Like he's just holding onto Meryl at the moment. 
Uh, actually, Panic, roll a, on your turn, you can roll a check for that. Actually, it is your turn, so you may roll a, uh, I'm gonna say Arcana check with advantage because you looked at the Yugoloth book. Okay, Arcana check with advantage is gonna be... 20. 23. Canaloths have something called Dimensional Lock. Other creatures cannot teleport or t to or from a space within 60 feet of the Canaloth. So any attempt to teleport within 60 feet of it fails. Which is why the spell's not working. This weird fucking dog. This weird fucking dog is blocking teleports. Bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, it is uh, your turn, Panic. <laughs> I know. I know. Please. Or run. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh huh. Uh huh. He. Ha. Who? I will cast Shatter once more at third level, uh, right behind the Arcanoloth, so it will hit it oh. and the Maragon, but not Borky. Yay! Yay. Baby face. He's your roommate. Baby right. face. So they Gregor. can make dexterity check. Down. Down. Boom! The Maragon. What level, sorry, what no. level spell is that? No. Third. Three. Okay. Uh, the Maragon got a 16. That fails. Okay. The Arcana Law. Ooh, rolled extremely well. Uh, but what if it didn't? That's gonna be a that's gonna be a twenty-three. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> he's a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he takes half of this. Stole. Uh, oh, oh come, come on. on! Oh, oh that man. is. Uh... I rolled two ones. It takes two eight one. damage. And a two. Eight I, damage already. Man. Just, I am peeved. We should just call this episode <laughs> SMH. Shake my head. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, seeing as I have no more uses of Bardic Inspiration, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to activate Mantle of Devilry. All right. And I am going to... Hmm. I am going to look at the Maragon. No. I'm going to look at the, the Canaloth. The Canaloth, the one in front of you, yep. Yeah, and I will cast Command Drop. Command Drop, alrighty. That's a wisdom saving throw? Yes, wisdom the save. Bad dog, down! Bad dog! <laughs> the bad fucking dog. It's advantage on the saving throw. Ah. Uh, that's gonna be a 19. Fuck. I'm sorry, they're very resistant to magic. No, it was worth the shot. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oops. What? Oh. It, can't take, it can't take sneak attack damage. Oh, actually, no, technically it can. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh god! <laughs> you just it has like... uncanny, it has uncanny senses, but uh, you had a you had an ally within five feet, so it just, it just can't be surprised. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, like I heard anyway, Gooba anyway, suck all the air in the room into him. <gasps> That's like Monty. Please let me have something. I can't use a. That's my turn. That's your turn. All right, Borky. It is now your turn. I want to hit him with my stick. All right. Borky's still feeling a little bit reckless. Bar starts Dempsey rolling almost with Ron Fault. Babyface or Fox? I'm going for Babyface first. All right, going for Babyface. Going out Babyface. Take out the low DPS guy so you can focus fire the big guy. Babyface first. Ah, 22. Ooh. Ooh. 27. 22, that hits. Good, because that is 15 slashing damage. 15 slashing looks really terrible. Oh, it does? Let's make it look prettier. Another attack, Reckless. 15! Double feet. Miss is unfortunate. No! You go to swing at parries with the glaive. Borky doesn't like parry. He likes David Schwimmer! Borky swings one more time! 21! That hits. Let's go, baby. 14 uh -oh. points of damage. Ooh, that caught to die, though. That Maragon dissolves into the ground. Yeah, yeah boom! Stupid baby! <laughs> And Borky. <laughs> Alrighty. That ends Borky's turn. Task, it is now your turn. Shoot the fucking fox! Alright. 
He does have plus five to his AC because of the shield. It's still active. I don't have anything else I can. Pu if I hit the what if I hit the other thing, but then I lose. I don't lose Hunter's Mark if I hit him. No, you don't. Oh, I don't. I I, I want to get rid of the fox. He's such a massive threat. I'm I'm gonna keep on the fox. Okay. Oh. 15. Uh, 15. Unfortunately, misses. Oh, fuck you. One more try. 19. 19. Unfortunately, misses with the shield Oh, my up. God. Wow. Fuck, you oh, know what? I don't care. I'm brutal. bleeding. I am bleeding his first levels. Fuck this asshole. All righty. It is now the Arcanoloth's turn. Yeah. He's got Borky. He's got Borky in front of him. He doesn't like that. No. Yeah. Oh, I hope I no one. Oh, I'm I, hope, nervous. I hope no one gets Mr. Piccolo'd. Uh, I can already see that coming. Yeah, well, I can too. Bosco, you're very quiet. Because he's nervous. I'm not. I'm not nervous. I'm just focused. Ah. All righty. I might need your help with this next spell, Connor. Okay. He's going to cast Mirror Image on himself. Oh, fuck. Okay. Piss. That is okay. significantly worse for Borky. <laughs> um, do you, well, I have it. Do you just want Three me to illusionary duplicates of yourself appear in your space until the space ends. The duplicates move with you and mimic your action you position. Each time a creature targets you with an attack during the spell's duration, roll a d20 to determine whether the attack targets one of their duplicates. If you have three duplicates, you must roll a six or higher to change the attack's target to a duplicate. Uh, so he has to roll. And to hit a duplicate, yeah. you have to be an AC of 11. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, alrighty. So yeah, you see, you watch Porky as four more foxes appear in front of you. Ah, uh, what the fox? And he is going to move. How much movement do you have? Oh, you can fly. Fuck that. He's going to fly in the air. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. I was like, oh, here. Does he have attack of opportunity for Borky? Yeah, Borky gets an attack of opportunity. You do not get advantage with your frenzied attack. It does not affect uh, reaction attacks. Very Only well. attacks within your turn, so... Heads up on that. 13 miss. Oh. Misses, unfortunately, as he takes off into the air. That ends the Arcanoloth's turn. He would have he would have he would have had to roll for the mirror image on that anyway. Yeah, you would have, yeah, actually. If if it hits. So Arcanoloth Arcanoloth has to roll. Well the with the AC of the duplicate is ten, 10 plus, plus the dex. Arcanoloth's dexterity. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so that's gonna be plus just the base dexterity. That's gonna be an eleven. So that okay, so Borky would have hit, Borky Borky hit would have hit a duplicate and burned it. Okay, right. so I rolled a 17 for the Arcanoloth's duplicate. So basically one of its images goes away. Yeah, one of it burns here. out. So right. one of it yeah. burns away. So he's got yeah. two left. Good catch. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Connor. I had, I need help with mm -hmm. this one. <laughs> Monty, okay. Monty, I use this spell. <laughs> no, I should ask you. I just remember uh, Connor's illusionary moment in the game. Anyway, uh, the yeah. Kinoloth is still kind of going crazy. It's going to bite at you again, Remy. Okay. Oh, I don't have to close my book anymore. This, this seems to go away. Heck. All right, Remy. Uh, that was so fucking close to a natural 20. That was terrifying. Uh, that is going to be a... Uh, that's going to be a 23 to hit you with the bite. Actually play um Valentia, and he'll cast shield. You're gonna cast shield? All right. He watches the shield, prevents this thing from biting the core of your gut. Uh, um, it is going to make a claw attack towards you as well. Okay. It's not the smartest, so it's not understanding why bite not working. I must tenderize to make biting easier. That's gonna be a 17, so that's gonna that miss. miss. Yeah. All right, that, that, is, the, not jump. that <laughs> is the enemy's turn. Uh, Greckle, it is now your turn. Can I, since Remy's grappled, can I situa situate myself to where I would be able to sandwich this thing with panic on the other side? Yes, I will say yes, you can. Okay. So do I need to actually occupy the space or like go just a little bit up I'll or? Just, I'll just plug you right there. Okay, that'll work. All right, let's see if we can get in this thing's backside once one more time. <laughs> That's that'll five, hit. six, seven. That hits. 
That is 13 plus. Sneak attack damage. Yes, ma'am. Oh my. Oh, that's 20. That's 23 20. points of radiant damage. Three. Or th 33, excuse me, 33. Oh yeah, it is 33, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, 13 plus 20. And this thing's looking pretty beat up now. <laughs> As you swing up against its side, you slash down the length of its tongue and it just kind of splits at the end. It's still holding on to Remy, but you've definitely done a sizable chunk to its body. Nice. Um, I can't do much else. Uh, tell you what, I got a little bit of movement left. You know what? I'm actually <laughs> going to get in, get in front of Hasra to try and put a put a line of sight between. Okay. Alrighty, then that leads us to K. K has fucking nothing. <laughs> Use K, a K pulls K pulls out a gun. <laughs> All right. Oh, a gun. Peace was never an option. <laughs> you joke, but she actually has. Oh no, she doesn't have a gun. She has a dagger. That's all she's got. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pistol. She. Get in here, cat. Oh, oh god. Yeah, she's gonna firebolt the 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 big the big licky big. tongue boy. Tongue boy. Licky tongue, tongue boy. Tongue. Uh, that's sixteen. That does just hit. Oof. Neat. Uh, oh, it's not immune. It's just resistant. All right, cool. Remy's fucking plume feather goes on Holy fire. Holy fuck! She rolled double tens. <laughs> nice. Oh my god! Oh my god! Roasted. That's twenty points of fire damage to this thing. Yeah, I'm an anti mage, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, so I'm an anti mage, spent. but. You watch panic as this thing gets engulfed in flames. It lets out this retching squeal as, like, she's just like, oh, oh, like the adrenaline is pumping through her system right now. <laughs> it is Good still alive, life. but it is a spicy, spicy, seared dog. All Good right. hunt, right? She's you just, just like, she's like, ah! She's like screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so Did you ask for original uh, or extra crispy? Remy, it is now your turn. Okay, I need to hit this thing. I need to break free. Here break we go. Free. 23. 23, that hits. Booming blade, baby. There's a 10. Alrighty, that's 10 points of damage. How do you want to kill it? Uh, oh, yeah. nice. With the three. Uh, While this thing is grappling him, Remy wants to cut off the tongue. And as it's screaming in pain, he wants to shove the sword down its throat. Okay, very nice, you do so. You kind of yank the tongue from the mouth and you just drive the sword deep into its toothy maw and it kind of it kind of twitches and quivers before it crumples to the ground and begins to melt. Does it disappear though? Uh, this one does, yes. Okay, uh, great. The Arcana Loth you said is in the air or did he land? He's in he the is air. in the air. Okay, How okay. high? He is currently uh, about 30 feet in the air. Got it. Mm, wow. Tall ceilings, don't forget. Yeah. Got it. Uh, since I have an attack left, will you use? let me use that to ready my shield? Uh... Is that, if that's don't... extra attack, I'm not sure. I don't think so. You. Okay. I think that's an action to do. The, if you're trying to do a dodge action, that absolutely takes no, your entire... No, I just want, I want to set up the springboard. Sure, yeah, absolutely. You can totally right, do that. All right, I'm going to five foot step. And Remy is going to uh, set it up like they did in the other room, not say anything, but yeah, it's yeah. going to look like he's getting ready to be defensive. Yeah, yeah. And then that, right. that'll be his turn. And uh, he would like to speak as a free action. Absolutely, go ahead. You're lucky you disappeared. The last one I killed didn't. Ready. And that'll okay. be Okay, that brings us to Hostrad. Hostrad is going to pull out the scroll of Dimension Door. Please, please. And grabs Meryl and turns to you guys and says, see you on the other side. And they both, bloop, bloop. Yes! 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 Nice. yes! Hostage oh. rescued. Good shit, guys. Good oh. job. Oh. Good work on that freaking cantaloupe. You watch as the arcana turns, he goes, Argh! and you watch now as all the teeth are barren, looking more as a savage beast than a spellcaster. Who's in danger now, bitch? Dust him! All right, panic! It is now your turn. Oh yeah! Now that Mer now that Meryl's gone, panic just sort of cracks his knuckles, ready to just guitar. 
He looks up at the Arcanaloth that's mirror imaging, and he's like, eh, none of that. And I'll I'll dispel magic that mirror image. Oh, <laughs> nice. oh, oh, yeah. wow. oh my god, Greco's finished. Ah. Oh, oh my god. All right, you dispel. you dispel it. It is gone. Fucker, all right. Silence falls across these lands, and soon it will fall across your lips as well. I'm writing that down. <clears throat> All right. Once more, with my bonus action, I'm a command cannon, baby. Command, uh, fall. Yes! Command fall, all right. Oh, oh, go. oh that's great. I just gotta check something here. No, 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 I'll, I'll word it differently. Command down. Can you click command for me real fast? Absolutely. Just so I have a reference point here. Oh, I just clicked off my fucking spells. Boop. Speak a one word command to create a, a target creature within range. The target must succeed a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on its next turn. Okay, so it does need to make a saving throw. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Nah. It was worth a shot. That's a 26. There's nah. no, no, it's, a, it's no problem. It's no problem. I... It's, a, it's a level one. You're good. You fucked up his illusions, though, and for yeah, that. How's it free? <laughs> I just, I just sort of, I just sort of stick my tongue out at him, wink, and then, uh. <laughs> Alrighty, task, it is no use. <laughs> That'll be my turn. I'm gonna shoot this fucking fox, this fucker. All right, he is gonna cast shield, his last spell slot. 28! Let's go! That hits. Let's go! As, as you aim the shot, he quickly tries to block it, but your arrow is way too fast. Roll your damage. Is All right. he hunter marked? He is he hunter's hunter marked, yep. And he's seven. Colossus. And, and Colossus, so Come seven. On, Five, that's 12. Six. 12 points of damage. That's gonna bring him down. Sorry. You know what? Me... Fuck your shield. You, you know fucking what? Dude, sorry, one second. Let me just calculate the health real fast. Seven, two. It's... 13 is gonna bring them down. I think I know what you're gonna do. Got him out. Alrighty. Do it. I'm feeling so good. Bonus action, third level Hail of Thorns. Okay, you have to hit him with the next attack though. I will attempt. You lose your concentration on Hunter's Mark as well. Uh, no, that's actually not a good idea then. I'm just gonna hit him. I'm gonna try. Just shoot him. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna try for the shot. Come on. 27! Let's Ooh. go! That hits. That hits. Let's go! <laughs> yes. Eight Eight points of damage. Kill him! Four. Twelve. Twelve points of damage. I can't you believe you hit him twice with shield. He takes a second shot. He's got oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It is now his turn. Uh, okay, everyone breathe in. <sighs> he casts wish. <laughs> <laughs> he casts wish. He pulls out the deck of many things. Oh shit. Oh fuck! Don't you dare, don't you dare say actually, Monty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on. Just seeing what he's got. He's I got actually so pulled up stuff. my headset and I can't plug it oh, back yeah, in. Oh yeah, he's got spells for days. Oh boy. He's got choices here and they're all terrible for you guys. You don't say. Can you just play two face down and end his turn? <laughs> uh, hmm. Hold on, I gotta measure some stuff out. Oh, oh god fuck. damn it. Is he gonna play red, black, or blue? I think he's gonna cast Chain Lightning at 8th level. Oh, he's playing red! <laughs> oh, and god. he's gonna aim it at K. Did... How's it splitting? It is going to um, Greckles, Panic, Task, and K. Best of luck, bitch. Re really, really quick. Uh, what is my turn after whose? Your turn was after panics. Did I skip you? Yes. You did skip skip board. Board. Yeah, you did. I skipped you. I am so sorry. We'll go back to your turn then. My kill bad. Out. <laughs> okay, now Jump he's still off, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> he's still thirty Spider feet. Climb. He's still thirty feet in the air, right? He is, yeah. yeah. Fuck. I can only move twenty. I, I'm I'm so you exhausted. Only move twenty feet, yeah. Ah. Uh, fuck do I do? I'm tired, bud. Wait a minute. You, you have javelins, don't you? Borky scratches his head and remembers he has javelins on his back. Right! Every oh, and time! You have, you have Gruul's axe, too, as well. Yep. Borky oh. looks at all his ranged weaponry he hasn't used in a while. Hmm. Reckless attack. All right, with fucking javelins. Hand axe first! Take this! 
Yeah. Bonus action with Gruel's axe. 19. That is going to be a... With advantage, yeah, that will hit him. 19. Oh, wait, hold on. No, he's yeah, shielded, shield. so it misses, unfortunately. Damn it. As you throw Gruel's horn axe, it, like, batters against this magical shield and clatters to the ground. Did he Kratos it back to his hand? <laughs> no, no, my wife's not dead yet. I'll throw a javelin. <laughs> All right. Reckless again. Ja reckless javelin. 18. Oh, nothing. Fortunately, that misses too. It shatters against the magical barrier. The sun. With my last. You have I, one more. I, have one with, more. My, with my last breath. Uh, Borky just kisses this, his javelin. He goes, come on. Good luck, Borky. You got this. Kobe. Reckless. 24? That Ooh. hits. Yes! Go! Oh my god. Come on. Three nice. plus seven. seven plus three equals ten. And he's still up, unfortunately, ten. but you slash him in the backside as he focuses his hand out and casts uh, eighth level chain lightning. Eighth? eighth, eighth yes, level. he has eighth, eighth level spells. Oh my god. He didn't, he didn't cast mind blank this today. So he's going to cast Chain Lightning. That's going to... Uh, it's going to make an additional Bolt Leap. But because no one else is within range, it's not going to hit anybody else. But he just wants to cast it. So oh, uh, everyone everyone needs to make Dexterity Saving Throws for me. Every, everybody? Oh. Uh, just Greckles, K, Panic, God. and Fast. Oh, okay. 11. That uh, 20 I, on the other I, side. I, I oh, no! haven't used my inspiration. Well, goodbye, guys. It was fun playing. Oh. I, I, I haven't, I haven't used my inspiration yet today. Excuse me. You have not. So I would you like... may reroll if you wish. Okay. Please. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. You, you beat it with a sixteen. Oh. oh. I'm gonna roll a severity for the natural twenty task just to see if natural anything one. happens. The natural one. Yeah, natural one. Sorry, natural one. Uh, I rolled a two, so it's not gonna be and no additional effects. It's just gonna it's just gonna hit you as is. Okay. So. Ooh, all right, it's best case scenario. Did all of you okay. fail? Would, uh, no, K I succeeded. K succeeded oh, by fucking God. one, but oh. she's still gonna take half of forty six. That's still fucking. Oh. oh God. Yeah. So anyone who failed is gonna be forty six points of damage. So twenty three points of damage. Twenty three to anyone who survived. K yeah, is still alive with your temporary hit points. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. That's going to bring her to... What, what, what was the total damage again? I'm sorry. Uh, for you, it's going to be 46. I'm sorry. All right. No, that's fine. Task. I mean, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to flavor this. Task takes the fucking lightning, hits the floor, throws up, wipes his mouth, looks up and smiles. Are you finished? How much hit points did you survive with? I have 20 HP. Oh wow! Oh. Holy shit! Right. I'm at I'm at I'm at 42. I naturally. Oh, good for you guys. Hold on me. I was Panic. gonna say, must be nice. The, the lightning arcs through Panic's scar, reaffirming as it arcs through his chest. Looks towards K, gives a thumbs up, and then falls backwards on the floor. Hey, Monty, quick question. Are you unconscious? Yep. Okay, you were unconscious. Monty, quick question. Yeah. Uh, because I had. I've got evasion, which lets me do the whole dex thing when it comes to. Uh, so you area. failed your saving throw, so you take half of forty-six anyway. Right, but that wasn't my if... question. Okay. Can I use my reaction to activate the other rogue ability to take another half, or is that not? That is, which one? Evasion. There's there's evasion, and then there's. Can you click those for me so I can read them real fast? Uh, give me a second. One second, I'm just calculating. You know, so there, damage. wait, nope, nope, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You mimic the sound of the lightning coursing through your body. ka uh, <laughs> there was a, There was another ability that I got much earlier. A second. This the is technically not... Mm, Uncanny dodge, damage. starting at fifth level when attacker... Yeah, you can, so if you, you succeed, attack. if you succeed, then you take no damage, but you did not succeed. That so is not my... Half. That is not my question. There is also oh, okay. an, there is also an uncanny dodge. When an attacker you see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attack damage against you. That is that is what this. Oh, I guess it is. One second. It is a completely different ability. He's asking if he can half the half. You can half the half. Yes. I shall half the half then. Uh, 
you click on Candy Dodge for me real fast? I don't even know if I have it in my list. I do not have it on my list. I can right, give you me, the fight. Give me one second. I'm just going to look yeah. it up. I just want to yeah, make I'll sure. I want to just want to make sure. Uh, Uncanny Dodge, starting at 5th level, when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attack's damage against you. This is... Oh, is that, is that just mundane? Uh, that's just mundane attacks, Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, that was the question. Yeah. Then, yeah, okay. no, you're, you're taking you're taking 23. Sorry. Okay. No, that's fine. I just wasn't sure about the wording. Uh, one second. I've been trying to calculate Kay's health this entire time, and I just kept getting yanked away from that, so give me two seconds. <laughs> Sorry. Eight. So it's 23. It's 15 remaining. That's going to bring her down to... Uh, one... Gonna bring her down too. Kay's looking rough, but she's still sticking with you guys. I gave her a uh, potion. Yes, she does have a potion. It's still the Arcanolov's turn, and the Arcanolov has one more of his own potions that he's gonna take. And now he's out. He has no more potions. That's gonna be. Damn, gym goals. battles. Sorry, one second, math. Seven plus. Wow, what a shitty potion. Lilos are better. <laughs> he rolled very poorly on this potion. He rolled three ones. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Good. All right. I know that feeling. He is going to fly, though. He's 30 feet over into this corner, away from Borky. <laughs> oh, is he now? Yep, and that is going to end his turn. He is looking... Actually, fuck that. No, he knows who has it. He's gonna land next to Panic, and he's gonna start looking for the fucking mask. <gasps> Shit! Oh, fucker. You watch as he like runs up to Panic, and just starts like tearing at Panic's clothes, and just like looking for the mask. Yes, he Bitch. On his turn. That ends his turn. Greckles, it is now your turn. Oh, I could. So he's on the ground to do that, right? He is on the ground. He wants that fucking mask. Give it to me. Give me the mask. You know. You know what it means when he gets it, too, based off of that fucking book. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? Hang on a second. I want to see... Because I know he has it. I know where it would be on his person. Give me a second. Let me double-check a thing here. You're gonna do the the rogue thing where you use your mage hand to steal from... Yeah, I'm essentially gonna steal the mask from you and put it in... While... Because he's freaking the fuck out right now, so he may not see me take it. Okay. I'm I would say you'll have to make you'll have to make a sleight of hand for this. I am fine with that. I got a plus nine of that, baby, and that's uh, oh, it's a thirteen. God oh, damn it, they're perceptive. Uh, perceptions plus seven, nineteen plus seven. So as you you pull out the 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 mask itself, he like reaches back and he grabs it, and you guys are currently in a tug of war. Oh, he can do that as a reaction. Well, he's just, it's an item, so he's just responding to you grabbing the item. Uh, hmm. All right, well, that was action movement. Oh. You have your bonus action and a movement. I do. What can I do? You know what? Fuck it. I don't think there's, there's nothing else I can do. I can attack, though. Uh, oh, wait, no, that was action. That was action. Never mind. Uh... You have your offhand you can do. That's right. I could but do that. You will not get sneak attack because oh, Panic is unconscious, and yeah. he's very he's very aware of where everyone is in the space. I will dart him. Just I'll dart him to see if I can break his concentration from pulling on the mask. Okay. I don't okay. even know if that's a mechanic, but screw it. Twenty. Twenty. And he did cycle through his turn. He did cycle through his turn. He is going to use his shield. Oh, actually, no, he can't. He's he can't. out. Yeah. Fuck, he's out. Oh, shit. Then, All yeah, right. you hit him. Straight, straight roll, minus five. So, four points of damage. Uh, what? Uh, That's going to be... Hang on, what the hell That's was gonna that? That's going to be a four. That's going to be a four. You rolled a four. Okay, sorry, the, the dice rolled again on my screen for some reason. I was freaking out. Yeah, so four yeah, damage. It didn't roll for me. Four, you rolled four max damage. damage, so yes, he loses his grip as you dart him in the hand. Oh, The mask covers. Shit. You have the mask, but you have to use an action to bring it back to you, essentially. I believe, unless there's a perk to that. Like, it's it's tear. Um, 
Mage Hand. Uh, I mean, it was always felt like Mage Hand, you just take the thing and you have it with you. Use your action to control the hand. You can use the hand to manipulate an object, open a locked door or a container. You can move the hand up to 30 feet every time you use it. So yeah, technically you would have dragged it to yourself. So you have it. It is in your possession. You have the mask in your hand. Excellent. I have 35 feet to move. I am moving. Get to, yeah, uh, get... When you grab the mask, it is like vibrating, by the way. It's like, like shaking. Oh man, I could do a really stupid thing right now. Do it. Greckles is Greckles is Greckles is gonna put it on. Okay, you put on the mask. Nothing happens. Nope. All right, then I'm running. <laughs> Careful it's where on, you run. <laughs> it's on my it's it, it's on my it's on my, I'm right to Borky right where he doesn't want to be. Hey, it, it freeze it frees up it frees up my hands. That's all I care about. Right on the glyph. Oh my god. The oh, light's just coming yeah, right at me. There. Excuse me, excuse me. There we go. The glyph is... I would know the fucking glyphs. Alrighty. That ends your turn, Greckles. Yeah, it does. It is Kay's turn. She is gonna run over behind Panic, throw open Panic's mouth, and you gave her a... I wrote it down. I just don't know where I wrote it down. It was a 2d4 plus 5. It was 2d4 plus 5. Yeah, 2d4 plus 5. Okay. Oh, shit. Fuck. That doesn't count, it's not in the thing. Uh, wow, even better. Uh, that is going to be uh, 11 for you, Panic, as you feel your eyes kind of awaken. You see Kay kind of over you. She's just sweating bullets, um, currently kind of cradling your head and just kind of throws the, the bottle and it smashes against the ground. And she's like, we're not done, we're not done. And she kind of like stands back up uh, with her movement and her action, because that was her bonus action. She is going to run up and she's going to grab the tail of the fox and cast Shocking Grasp. Nice! Oh, yeah. that's good! <laughs> that's amazing. So, it's just a hit. He's not wearing any medals. It's not with advantage. That's going to fucking hit with a 22. <laughs> <laughs> she's level Wait. six! Tell me, okay. tell me she gets the kill, Monty. Unfortunately, no, Damn but it. we're going to roll damage. We'll, we'll see how much damage it does here. This is amazing. 2d8, but it can't take reactions now, <laughs> which means no counter spell. Uh, that's a fucking seven and an eight. <laughs> 50 Ooh. points of damage. Uh, that's gonna bring it down to. One second, sorry, I'm just calculating. Yeah, he looks ruffled. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and she respectfully fucks right off. Yep, good. Thank <laughs> Just take off running as the as the Arcanoloth is paralyzed. Remy, nice. it is now your turn. Cool. So now it's flanked, correct? Because Panic's up? Or yep. conscious? Okay. He is prone, though, so technically... Mm, technically, no, he's not occupied with him. So you do not get flanking, because he is... In, technically, he's, he's okay. got a condition uh, to him. Booming to blade him. on him. <clears throat> All right. 24. That fucking hits him. <laughs> Seven? Seven, Plus. yep. Wait, wait. What? When was my turn? You were dead. I didn't roll death saves, it, though. It oh, was Arconaloth, Greckles, K, Remy, and then you. You're after Remy. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be eight on the first swing. Okay. Uh, if it moves again, it's going to take another D8. i got to remember that. 25. Jesus. That hits. Okay. Nice, nice. Seven. Okay. Going to shield bash him, so he needs to make acrobatics <laughs> or athletics. One second, one second, one second. What? Let me, let me calculate this really fast. Sure. I'm just too much math at once. I'm just trying to... Okay, yeah. Okay, next roll for the... Uh, shield bash, yeah. So shield bash. Versus... Oh, it's 16 is the DC. Okay, he's actually surprisingly strong. Oh. So he's going to go for strength. But he is paralyzed. Uh, He just can't take reactions. He doesn't ah. have a condition. Okay. Uh, That is going to be a 15. Oh. Uh, he fails. Oh shit, okay. He goes what is that the first fail. See, and then prone. Remy is gonna say, This is for Stendin, and he's gonna action surge with uh, advantage. He's oh, nice. oh my god. Shit. Yo! Like okay. Here we go. Oh, my, jumping the first in shot is gonna be Booming one. Blade. Here All right. Go. Booming Blade is a 13. 13 unfortunately misses. Oh As you god, go to Remy. stab down, he rolls to the side. <sighs> Fucking. All right, here we go. One more. Nat 20! Natural! Nat yeah! Oh my god! Yes! Dude! Fuck Let's yeah! Let's go! Alright! Get this fucker! It's gonna be... Dance. 11. As you lift the blade up above it, the rest of you watch as behind him you see 
the spectral form of Stendin standing above him with his sword. The Arkhanolov looks up in terror as Remy drives the blade through the demon and fiend who has tormented the city. So you watch too as Stendin drives his sword through the neck of this beast. And you watch as he screams, he thrusts out his hands and they begin to suck inwards similar to the corpses within his prison. He howls and wails as the teeth pop out through old age rapidly catching up to him. He screams and reaches towards the mask that you wear on your face, Greckles. And as he goes still, too does go the room. Amazing, he's fucking dead. Yeah! Oh my god. I'm so, oh, I'm so happy Bosco got the kill on that. That absolutely yes! shit. That All this so good. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, now for Roar to come barging on in and tell us that we're under arrest. <laughs> no. As you guys stand there, all the magic in this room actually disappears because its source is gone. The box! The box! <laughs> the, the, yeah, because Panic, you still have Detect Magic on. The box, the spell that's yeah. on it, gone. But the necromancy still persists. Oh, all the touch. flames, all the flames go out in this room. Like, it goes completely dark <laughs> the moment you guys kill this beast. Is it? Oh, I guess we wouldn't be able to see if it disappeared or not. Um, Remy's gonna, after taking a minute, having just killed this thing, he's gonna offer a hand to panic. Very, you very see. tired. It is dark <laughs> in here. It is, it is pitch oh, black we can't in see here. Anything. You guys can't see anything right now. Uh, may I? I can. Wait. You can see, yeah. yeah Borky, I think, can see also. Uh, I can. Task, you're fine. Can I use precipitation just to make some sparks so I can see, like, at least... No. Like, no? There is there is specifically a light spell and dancing lights, which are spelled specifically for light gotcha. production. Okay. But... Is there, think... any, is, there, is there any fuel in any of these sconces, or... I, I can make man? fuel. I magic. have fire arrows. I didn't use my level three. Kay has a candle, and she's going to light it with her firebolt. So oh, there we you go. Watch as a, okay. a little light kind of appears, and Kay just, like, ran into a bookshelf. He's like, did we do it? Did we win? We did it. <laughs> I think so. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 It just falls on the ground. Just <laughs> looks, Tex looks at her and claps his hands. Oh. Greckles is quickly going oh. to put the mask in his inside pocket. Borky falls against a wall and falls asleep. <laughs> Three points of exhaustion. Panic is le leaning, leaning up against his desk and the and just clutching his his lightning bolt shaped scar the oh. you see echoing in the light is the crooked tongue you know when like something mummifies it kind of all kind of scrunches inwards mm -hmm. that's what you currently see the arcanoloth it's just this this tight mass um and you do see there's one thing on him that is persisting which is a medallion around his neck Ooh. give me that all right you grab a medallion it appears to be a skull medallion and it has two ruby eyes on it oh Kick ass. Fuck yeah. Oh man, people die over something like that. <laughs> Tass turns and looks at the box. Oh. We still have this. If it's necrotic, it I will touch it. Uh you detect the the dormant necrotic damage the the the, the words. I'm sorry, that was intense and I'm shaking right now. Yeah, I am no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you still detect the necrotic <sighs> presence to it. No, on the medallion. Oh the medallion. Oh god, what would this be? Uh, I think this is one second. Uh, oh, actually, you know who has a ritual? Mm. I think Kay. Yeah, Kay has Ooh. identify. She can nice. ritual cast identify for you if you'd like. Cool. Hey, if you don't mind. I know it's good. Uh, You're good. Oh. I uh, just just <laughs> lightning arcs across his his fucking forearm. Yeah. Oh. You also, yeah. you also still have his corpse. <laughs> I task pulls out his hunting knife and looks around like, should I? No, keep it. We need it for evidence. Yeah, we need to have evidence. Someone might be hungry. This this is a medallion You're of sleeping. thoughts. I'm... Ha! <laughs> Kay looks and goes, this is a medallion of thoughts. Uh, the medallion has three charges. While wearing it, you can use an action to expend one charge to cast a detect thought spell. Uh, you know that this is super fucking illegal. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Panic can't wear it. It'll just go off all the time. Uh. Yeah, that's that's the thing with uh. Kay identifying it. She knows exactly. Yeah, she she knows exactly mm. that it's illegal. 
but it is scary. Pinnacle will put, will shakily just muscles spasming slowly put a finger over his lips and then drop it into the fucking portable hole. Oh. She kind of gives you this look like, I want to let you do that, but I don't think I can. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you just killed a fiend. Take that in. I know. Uh, she sits down. That leaves the box. Uh huh. Well, unfortunately, this thing still got necrotic damage on it. Yeah, the outside of it I is, will, is I will clean, cast... but the inside of it, you detect it. I I will cast vicious mockery. Hey, are you a mimic, fuckhead? The box feelings are hurt, maybe, but it doesn't <laughs> respond. Hmm. I don't think it's a mimic. Prayer, calm down. Prayer, calm down. Either that or it has a very high opinion of himself. <sighs> I don't know if we should be tooling around with it if it's necrotic. Uh, you do it. You've got the... Oh, you got the mage hand. You've got Everyone that. Looks, away from looks, it then. Looks, at, looks at Kay. Looks at Kay real hard. She like, just puts both of her hands up and goes, apparently, I'm not allowed to make an opinion on this Borky now. wakes up. Your boss died! Everything shit! But it doesn't mean I should screw on protocol. Whatever, I'm looking the other way. She turns around. All right, here we go then. Inside, Besides, we don't even know if it's illegal. Inside is a long wrapped bundle. <gasps> oh. It's about, uh, I'm going to say, about two feet long, maybe two, three feet let's, long. Uh, let's, let's, let's mage hand that claw open, maybe. Okay, as you bring out the bundle, you place it on the ground, you remove the cloth. Oh, I'm touching it. <laughs> Oh, you're not touching it? I'm assuming no, I'm you're unwrapping it, though. I'm mage-handing it, un unwrapping it with mage-hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. Touching that's, what I, that's what I assumed you were doing, so. Okay, I didn't want to, okay. As you unravel it, it is a sword. <gasps> Anyone who wants, you can roll a knowledge religion check on this sword. Yes, ma'am! Mm. I'll, I'll give it a try, but I'm not making any promises. Ten! Here's the results of my training! With a fucking 17! 18. Uh, Remy, you get to do this with advantage. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. Uh, oh. 12? Hmm. 12, okay. Remy would know this because of his country. Um, and Panic and Tass, you definitely would know this. This is a blade of Hoketh. Uh, this oh. is a sword of life stealing. Oh. Oh. oh! oh! Now, here's a question. We should probably give this to the Hoketh clergy, because this is probably one of the artifacts that they know is missing. What does it do? Uh, if you want Kay to cast Identify on it. Sure. All right. Sure. It. You'll take 10 minutes. When you attack a creature with this magic weapon and roll a 20 on the attack roll, that target takes an extra 10 necrotic damage if it isn't a construct or an undead, and you gain 10 temporary hit points. Oh, oh my god. What kind of what kind of sword is it? It is a long sword. Ah. 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 Everyone's pointing at <laughs> Remy, right? Is everyone's pointing at Remy like me right now? Yeah. <laughs> if if that's something he would be okay with. Remy. Yep. Many of these swords were on the battlefield in the war against Eltmer and Valithia. Oh. Does it look like something the Hoketh clergy would want? It looks like it would be important. You may want to consult them on it. Wrap it up. We'll give it to the Hoketh and go from there. All right. Uh, Before we leave... The probably behoove us to take this as well, the orb. Okay, you grab the scrying orb. Take the is orb, it, it, the it, corpse, it, 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 the book. Is it a scrying focus? It is a scrying focus, yes. It's very nice, too. Scoop that shit into my bag. <laughs> Let's go, put it in. I got right. three now. So, after you after... guys, just to finish up the episode, because we're yeah. at we're yeah, yeah. minutes over, as you guys exit out, you are met with a horde of Avon soldiers, some of which are currently assisting the various people you've saved. Doros is currently being tended to by Brork and Willow. Brork sees you and turns and immediately comes to greet you. You see now Sionia currently discussing details to Grinelda and various others. And as you guys have successfully basically destroyed this incursion, you guys head home after a long day's rest. Your crime conveniently ignored. Excellent. And in the coming Hoketh's Harrowing Festival, 
you are to be rewarded medallions of the city as heroes. Oh, oh yeah! Yeah! yeah. Three chapters so, it's in official now. <laughs> next, it's official now. We're heroes, baby! Next Fuck episode yeah. is going to be the Hokef harrowing episode where we have a festival episode and you oh. guys are being rewarded. Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 Fuck yeah! Wait, no. It's a festival. Something always goes wrong at festivals. Not true. Not, wait. <laughs> True. Very so, true. Kind of true. <laughs> thank you guys so much, and thank you, Austin. Bye, Austin. We love Bye, Austin. Austin. We're fucking heroes, Austin. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that was so <laughs> cool. That was that intense. Was a... Holy shit! I, I cannot believe. I I don't believe. Fucking! I thought K was gonna happened. die. I was like, I'm I thought I was gonna it. die. K. Oh my god. Lived. Meryl K lived. Fucking... Willow was, uh, you know. She was injured, but you know it's Meryl. We saved the motherfucking day. I hate, I hate, I like, I hate to say, but like Willow was gonna stay until you guys found Doros. No offense, but no, she, well, I mean that's fair. kind of what I thought that's was gonna fair. happen, anyways. So uh, Remy, you're gonna take the oh sword of life stealing because the Hoketh clergy is completely fine with you keeping it as a reward. Excellent, I, I, dude. Oh, like that. Oh, oh my god. That then. There's a lot yeah. of people I, I'd like to thank here real fast. And fact. just start to clarify, yep. the Medallion of Thoughts has been taken, but you guys are going to get paid in respect. Damn it! Oh, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's contraband. It's an illegal spell in the city, so unfortunately you don't get to keep it. I'll but contra your band. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone. Holy uh, crap, you guys. Oh, my God. Uh, all righty. Let's, uh, I'll do the bit shit. call outs here at the end. Um, but uh, Bosco, can you, can you lead us in the closing? Sure. Uh, well, thank you guys for tuning in. I see we just ended the episode. We're almost 1,800 people in. I saw it get up to 2,000, so thank you guys. Damn. Wow, if really? Holy in, shit. Day. Is that yeah. a record? That is a record. Yeah, it went I up think to 2,000. The My Little Pony one had more. I'm sorry. I hate to <laughs> <laughs> people came to watch me suffer. The point is, thank you guys for helping us stay close to a record for at least the Unexpectables. We really appreciate it. And with all that said, let's just start it off with the person who put all this together, and I, I don't think they get enough credit. No. Monty, where can Someone they find says you? They mm. Hi. Um, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. On Twitter, you'll see me posting. Uh, I'm doing a lot of 3D printed models. I, I've got Oz currently sitting behind me, and I really want to paint them. Um, and then on uh, I stream as well. So Thursdays, uh, I'm going to be tomorrow, which is Thursday. Uh, I'm going to be streaming Monster Hunter, so if you want to come watch me smack some dinosaurs in the face and get smacked by said dinosaurs, you can check me out there. And on Sunday, we got Pokemon Coliseum, where you can uh, come and watch me basically get bullied by three different factions, and you, the chat, get to decide who your allegiances lie with, whether you are part of Primetime Crime Time, New Uwu Troll, or uh, hashtag Peace Gang. So definitely, definitely check it out. Very nice, very nice. And for the person who hit this damn thing with two arrows while it was shielded, the one and only Chris Zito, where can they find you? Oh, killing a fox demon. Uh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, uh, on Twitter at CZ Backlash, and on Patreon at the Ever Ingot Almanac, where on said Patreon, I make homebrew content. I am very close to putting out the cat book, so if you too want to play as a kitty whippins tabaxi, a sphinx, a... Uh, oh god, a Cheshire cat or a Baki Neko, as I look over at Gaijin and wiggle uh -huh. my eyebrows. Uh, that's actually available right now on the Patreon. It will be going public on DMs Guild <laughs> soon, so if you want to check out content early, go there. Uh, as for my streaming, I'm going to be doing Dead Cells because the update came out and I desperately want to touch that game again. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. And uh, for the person who not only saved the mask, but got it out of the grasp of that damn Arcana law. That was well played, by the way, Greco. Yeah, I, didn't want, I didn't want to sabotage you, but I'm like, he would snatch that. He's not fucking letting that. No, no, I know, I know. No, but no, but literally the guy who probably play. saved the day, if you think about it, guy where can they find you? Was, was so good. Like, oh. That very easily in that turn could have changed the entire story. Absolutely. Yeah, it could have. It could have. That, oh. Gadget, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me twitch.tv forward slash no H. Uh, Taiko Tuesday with Taiko no Touch and lots of new songs, lots of me.
good times, punishment songs. Uh, Saturday and Sunday is probably going to be Monster Hunter or digging back into some of my old high fantasy Japan games because that's always fun. Mecha Monday as normal. Uh, if you guys have ever been curious about the inspiration, or at least half the inspiration I made from Greckles, I will be releasing a comprehensive video on Tengu, Japanese Tengu. Hopefully by Tuesday, it is 17 pages long in script. It will probably be 20 minutes in video. I break down everything. Do not miss it over on my YouTube. Very nice, very nice. And for the person who not only helped us with most of the investigation, but then definitely kept us alive and helped us move about the battlefield, mm -hmm. Mr. Distortion Devil, Connor, where yeah. can they find you? Oh, my God, you're so welcome, everyone. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Twitter at St. Al Snake. You can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where Tuesdays and Sundays have become my rink and oh. adventure slash WWE 2K20 days. Uh... And uh, aside from that, Thursdays, I'm playing Monster Hunter with Monty. Friday is Friday Funhouse. play a lot of Jackbox Party Pack and party games with my friends. And Saturday, we're playing through the entirety of the Devil May Cry series. We're on Devil May Cry 2, Lucius Campaign. So, <laughs> <sighs> Oh, you got damn. the Devil May Cry 2, so it's like... <sighs> no, I, I... This is my first time playing... It's my first time playing through Devil May Cry 2. So I had heard it was bad. It I did bad. not know how bad. It's really bad. It's like a pa it's, it's like really a parody bad. of the first game. It's funny. <laughs> and so that's uh, my week. the ma the man who tanked not one but two of the main bosses and put that baby down. Mm. Borky Takahata 101. Where can they find you? In fact, they can find you right here. But yeah, what are you absolutely, up to? they can find me right here. And tomorrow there'll be some M and W, which I need to talk to you about later, Bosco. I'm really excited for oh, that. Great. Give is, me a night. <laughs> well, yeah, we're gonna, the war zone opens up again, and we got to begin the – it is now the go-home show for a special event. Not a pay-per-view, but a special event. The Festival of Fear. So we'll see oh, what dear. happens there. But, yeah, you can uh, you find me, of course, on Twitter as also. Real quick plug, because I know it's late, uh, but myself and many other amazing voice actors, including the wonderful Connor McKinley here, both were in a hey. video made by Brava Alphabusa, the creator of TTS, and it's the newest episode. Um, this is one of the most impressive things he's ever produced, in my opinion, uh, featuring a song that is legitimately good. So I, if you guys can check out anything, check that out if you want to hear me and Connor being being silly. Yeah, I always, but, You guys are always silly. Yeah. Very nice. And uh, with all of that said, Kurt, I'm sure there's tons of people you need to call out. Right I don't even know. I don't. This is just this is gonna take. Like, Justice Jake, Le Jake, thank you so much for the five subs gifted. Uh, Black Affair for the Leap Bits again. Just a lot of cheers. What does really? the fox say? Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna Black do some. So, I'm gonna do some looking because apparently we got a huge raid earlier in the stream. I did not notice oh, it. Did unfortunately, we? is that why it was so big? Probably. Uh, so people are saying 500 bits here uh, from Vince Moxanji. Thank you so much as well. Plus ultra, absolutely, dude. Uh, right. Man, Manic Scarecrow with a thousand bits. Title: What the fox or what the foe? Interesting. So there title. was one that. I, so speaking of episode title, not to cut you off. I, I saw Earth. a really good one. And I saved it. Was made by Kramu. Can I tell you mine? Yeah, go for it. The fox and the hounds. Oh, that's, that's really good. good. Mm, I like that better. Really I was good. gonna say Final Destination Fox only, fox but that's only. Better. Yeah. Fox only. Final Destination no, Fox only. That's fox a lie. Only. We had to fight two. Final we had to fight. Destination Fox only. Dude, we had to, we no, had to fight. Uh, isn't... We had to fight a wolf. I, I mean, I, I I had a suggestion, like, trapped in a foxhole, but... Uh, it's There's a lot of good name titles for this one. Uh, Commander Saul, thank you for the sub. Uh, Argent mm. Lyell with a thousand bits. I am fucking shaking right now! <sighs> yeah, so that was... that was. I see it. My friends my friends were chatting, chatting our group chat. I'm like, I'm so fucking happy that Kay lived. Holy shit. So yeah. I heard an eye. I'm like, either she'll succeed or she'll fail, and the chances are stacked against her, but she fucking got a 15 plus... Fucking hell. Plus her S modifier, which 19. succeeded, so... Serenade of the it's Eclipse wild. with a thousand bits as well. Title suggestion, Case Closed. Hey Kurt, can I make a suggestion for a raid? Uh, yes, I do have to get through some more bits here, but oh, uh, sure, uh, I absolutely can make a suggestion here. Uh, Jivon, thank you so much for the subs. Jivon, sorry, three twenty G. We thank you for the bits as well. K close, K's closed. Oh, that's that's pretty strong. Luke a lot with five thousand <laughs> bits. Holy crap, that was an intense episode. Well done, Monty. You had me on the edge of my seat for the entire episode. Also, episode title idea: Case K A Y S E closed. That's what people are pushing I feel like it as well. That gives it away. That gives it, it away. Does, yeah. It gives it away. Because I prefer to do like the the fox and the hounds. Fox and the hounds is good because we're tracking the them. Fox and the hounds is great. Uh, yeah, you can thank Crop. Crop was the uh, one who I. I 
Uh, now, probate I, sorry, dropped ahead. an additional 10,000 bits. Oh, thank you, dude. That had to have been Damn the best man. possible outcome for that entire ordeal. I know, right? Oh, my yeah, God. Nobody died. I, I literally had my I, hands I, uh, over my mouth with both like both hands over my mouth at some point, so I'm just like, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, the it moment wasn't... it summoned two demons, I'm like, this is going to fucking put the fear of God in them, because <laughs> this guy's got allies. Mm -hmm. Yep. What was, was crazy just... is, Kurt, the smartest thing you could have done was attacked the the Maragon, because the Maragon has an ability where if a fiend within, like, five feet of it gets attacked, it can substitute its own health to protect it. Oh, oh. shut. Really? Which is, I'm, well, which it's is just, why just... it was right next to him. Yep. I, I think it's standard procedure. You aim for the thing that has the least amount of health to minimize the DPS happening to you. Go for ads. Yeah, yeah you go for it. You kill ads immediately. Focus firing the boss only works in clutch moments at the last second. Uh, okay, uh, but I, probate with the 10... Uh, sorry? Uh, I'm just, I was just going to say, apparently we got a huge raid in the middle of that, and I just found out who. Apparently, uh -huh. uh, twitch.tv slash Arcadum raided us uh, doing the finale of their D&D campaign wow. uh, for about 500 oh, wow. people halfway through. Wow. wow. So th thank you so much. That's thank you so thank much, you Arcadum. Yeah. That is incredibly kind. Definitely. We definitely appreciate it. You guys picked a heck of a night to raid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're new here, welcome. Uh, stick around. We we it, it, yeah, we, we play. Got even... 113 episodes to catch up on. Oh God. Oh yeah. <laughs> Probate with a 10,000 bits though, dude. Thank you so much. Ice Week, they give it a 300 bits. Over 100 freaking episodes, and you guys still managed to surprise me with so many crazy and exciting events. Love y'all so much. Omen, the gloomy bunny with the 500 bits. K and Remy for MVP. I can agree with that. <laughs> uh, Storm, Storm Red 957 with a thousand bits. What does the fox say? Nothing, because he's fucking dead. <laughs> Damn right. Thank you for the thousand bits, Storm Red. He uh, is a corpse. Chutakus, <laughs> thank you so much for the bits. Space My Monster with the 500 bits. No message, just bits. Thank you. The Light War with the 500 bits. Amazing job, guys. You all rock. And we get a special thanks to the mods for their efforts tonight. Yes. I will, was going to get to that yes, at the end, too. Big ups to the mods. Also, an episode yes. for title suggestion, uh, The Lithia's Vengeance. I like that title name. I don't know for this one, though. I like that name, though. Yeah. Le Jake with the 2,500. Holy shit, that entire boss fight, Monty. Also, prime time, crime time. Prime stream. But Le Jake, thank you so much for the 2,500 bits. Uh, Quick Saijin, Burhan, uh, Blade Ligers, Guy Zimzi. S, uh, thank you all for the bits. S Wolf, thank you for the 500 bits. Victor, we have victory! Yes, we do. Hunter Man with the 200 bits, thank you as well. Brutamaxu, thank you for the 500 bits. Episode title, At a Loth for Words. Ahaha. Ha! Ha! Choice, thank you for the bits. And Burnout Vaughn with 1,000 bits. We're in this house! Oh, my yeah, God. I want to thank the mods. Uh, we were kind of cracked down on a lot of backseat um, playing tonight. I want to thank the mods, especially... By the way, the, for anyone who's wondering, the Arcanoloth did not have all of its standard spells because it's a fucking, like, wizard. It can switch them out, so... Then you always get uh, upset that the Arcanoloth is losing, losing spells it doesn't usually have if I use them at all. That's why. I think pretty much everything you use it normal. Like it, it, Finger of Death is normal. Oh, and yeah, that's staple. That's that's the delete button. Yeah, <laughs> and Doro... Okay, real fast. Uh, Andorra the Insane with a 1500, but it's luckily you didn't you banish that fox with that nat 20 at the beginning. That, dude, it's when that happened, I don't know if that's that would have been luckily, rough. I would have taken that shit. Just cut his head off and he walks in, got him! <laughs> that yeah. crit hurt him pretty bad. Yeah, no, it like, did. He had that... two potions that I was going to stretch out the fight, but he had to use them like immediately. And I was like, oh, that was going to be like, you know, when you're fighting a Pokemon and like the gym leader pulls out a potion, you're like, fuck it! Full restore, fuck you! Ah, oh, yeah. damn it! Uh, so 500 current. bits. Last oh. bits. Hella fight. Thank you so much. Okay, now I want to thank the mods again for everything they did tonight. Um, mm -hmm. Bosco, you were gonna say something about who to raid. I did. I I would really like it if we could raid that Art Jack because he's normally not streaming. When yes. we're oh oh oh! Please please because of what he did for the other day. Yeah, he did a really good piece. All right, we're gonna yeah, raid that Art Jack, guys. He's an incredibly yep. talented artist. Way. For those who do not know, and he does artwork for our campaign. Gaijin, you can get Fluffy to actually do that. Oh, yeah! But already, yeah. is anything That's else you guys... That's why you hire him. I, again, a massive thank you to everyone tonight. What a hell of a what a hell of a Ooh. session. Thank you for all the bits. This was a mini-arc finale, really. Yeah. yeah, it was. You guys got your adventure in the city that you've always wanted. We oh. did. I want to leave! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of sick of this city now. I want to go back underground for one episode so I can be sick of that. <laughs> uh, no raid message, guys. Just be kind one. and nice. 
Tell him he's a nerd. All right, we're ready. It's that art jack. Like, right? Correct. Okay. That Dial art jack. Yep. Thank you yeah, all so it. much for it. coming to the Unexpectables. We will see you next week for Hokes Harrowing. Woo! We're fucking heroes! Woo!